power in the presence of Amen. the Almighty God. Amen. Amen. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Welcome, Amen. Holy Spirit, and take over in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray in Jesus' name. Welcome, all of you, wherever you are. Welcome Amen. in Jesus' name. We are about to start Amen. in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Oh, yes, Mighty Father, Jehovah Amen. God, we come before you in the name of Jesus Christ. We welcome your presence. We welcome your glory. We welcome your fire. We welcome the fire of the Elijah. You are the God of the Elijah. Welcome in Jesus' name. The spiritual word of God, the spiritual sword, rested the floor right now. And the Father remove every uncle. Every darkness in Jesus' name. Jehovah release healing, release revival. Praise Jesus Christ. So I welcome you, Apostle John, in Jesus' name. Welcome in Jesus' name. And may the Lord use you to speak to us in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I praise the name of our Jesus Christ. To all people who are watching, the Lord bless you. And those who are following, it is now the third day. The grace of God be with you. I know there are signs and wonders which will happen today. Through the word of the third day. And Jesus when he spoke the truth. And he preached for three days. And for, for three, after three days. And there was wonders and signs. And, and they were at they ate the bread and even the uh, the, the, the fish. The word of God will not return in void. You must see something new in your life today. You, you that are following and you that, that will join, you will also be blessed in Jesus' name. And after the word of God, God does, does miracle. The word of God must have the signs and wonders at the end. Anybody that is sent by God, he comes with the sign to say that I was sent. There is nobody who is, uh, is used in the government and he is being said in another country. He must have a sign or an identity in that country to, to say that he is a minister of Kenya. There is, must be an identity, a sign. And those who are serving for the kingdom of heaven, they do have the sign. The signs the signs zinafatana na neno the signs follows after the word wakati unahubiri neno kwa muhubiri when you speak the word if you are a man of god usitumie sheria nyingi do not use many laws tumia mafuta unayo just use the anointing of god that you have hiyo upako ulipakwa na yesu that anointing that god has anointed you with itakutetea mbele za watu that anointing will speak of you if you are really sent by God, the church of today, there is no other thing that they need. They just need that, 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 that calling of God. Who was God? Who was anointed? That is what there is confusion. There is confusion in the body of Christ so much. Who is the true minister of God? The true minister of God. He was anointed by God. And he do have uh, signs of heaven. He have signs. He walks through the signs. Just, it is not just the word. There is the manifested of, of manifestation of the word. And, and when Jesus said, said that wherever you go to preach, and the signs and wonders will follow you. It is not us that we do miracle. It is Jesus who do miracle through us. Through the word that we preach. Praise the name of Jesus. There must be a transformation in your life today. There must be a transformation. There must be something God will do today. Uh, the, the men of God. We will have many testimonies. And when we preach, and when we are preaching, somebody say, Oh, God has done this for me. I, I, I get happy. For the word of God say, We shall not die, but we shall live. 
bali tutangaze makuna majabu Mungu ametenda. We shall declare the work of God what he have done. Naamini kama kuna testimony utanipa siku hii. I, I, I believe that there is testimony that you will come to testify. Kusudi Mungu wetu atukuzwe tu. For the, our God to be glorified. Sio sisi tutukuzwe. Not us to be glorified. Ionekane Mungu wetu ni wa kweli. But to be known the God who we are serving that is the God wetu Yesu anatenda. That it may be known that Jesus Christ is doing. Bwana asifiwe sana. Praise the name of Jesus. Acha tusome neno katika Yakobo. Let us read the word of God in the book of, uh, of Jacob. James. James. The book of James, not Jacob. Mm-hmm. Yes. Hey. Uh-huh. Sura kwanza mstari wa Jacob sura kwanza, Jacob sura kwanza, mstari wa sita mpaka wa wa nane. Uh, James chapter 1 verse 6 to 9. Biblia inasema lakini inapaswa kuomba kwa imani bila mashaka yoyote. Mtu aliye na, ma, na mashaka na kama mawimbi ya bahari ambayo usukumwa usu, na kutupwa tupwa na upepo. Kwa hiyo mtu aliye na mashaka mwenye nia mbili na asiye na msimamo katika mwenyondo wake wote asidani ya kwamba atapata chochote kilio toka kwa Bwana but let him ask in faith with no doubting for he who doubt is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind for let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the lord he is a double minded man and stable in all his way bwana asifiwe sana praise the name of the living god leo tuna, tuna, tu, tunataka watu today we want people wawe na imani kamili to have the true faith ba, bila mashaka and without doubting tunazungumza habari za mbingu uh, we are speaking about the, the things of the kingdom of god habari za mbingu and about the kingdom of god wakati mlisikia tunaanza kuwahubiri juu ya toba and when you heard that you are preaching about repentance hiyo ndio habari ya mbingu kwanza and that is the first message of the of the kingdom of god that, what watu wakesha tubu zambi and when people repent of their sin tukafatisha kitu cha pili and we 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 followed another thing ukisha tubu zambi zako when you first repent of your sin tunatembea sasa katika kumea mimea mbegu zinaonekana kama tulitubu the second thing that you need is that you need to bear fruit the bear, bearing fruit that say that you repented Bwana asifiwe. Praise in Jesus. Na hayo yote yanatembea kupitia imani. And all those things are done through faith. Usipokuwa na imani, and without through faith, hauwezi kupitia hapo. You cannot go through them. Imani ndiyo itakuonesha msingi wa kumaliza kila kitu chochote. Faith is the foundation that says everything. Bwana asifiwe sana. Praise Jesus. Na ule mwenye uko na imani, and they that have faith. Biblia inasema, the Bible says, usipokuwa na imani, if you don't have faith, hauwezi kumfurahisha Mungu. You cannot praise God. Watu wengi hapa duniani, many people in this world, wamepoteza imani. They have lost their faith. Na nyakati kama hizi, and the time like this, wamepoteza imani. They have lost their faith. Na wewe na mimi, and you and me, wakati tunapoteza imani. There's a time that we lose our faith. Biblia inasema kama una imani. And the Bible says that when we don't have faith, hauwezi kumfurahisha Mungu. We cannot praise God. Ni kusema yale malipo ya kumfurahisha Mungu. And that says that the, 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 the wages of of, of praising God, hauwezi kumfurahisha Mungu. You cannot praise God. Ni zambi kubwa sana. It is a sin. Lazima tuwe na imani. We must have faith. Na walio tutangulia waliishi kwa imani. And they that uh, that, that, that went before us, they lived by but they lived by faith. Tuache kuishi kwa mambo tunaona na macho ya kimwili. Let us not live by the things that we see by the flesh by wale, the eyes. Wale wa Kristo wote nyakati kama hizi za corona wanasema. Many Christians like the days like this of the corona they are saying. Wale wanatizama katika macho ya kimwili. They that are looking through the physical eyes. Na wewe na mimi na nafikiri na wengine wote. And many other me and you and many others. Watu wengi wamekata tamaa. Many people when we see they have lost their faith. Watu wengi wamekata tamaa. They have lost their faith. Ndege azitembei. A uh, 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 birds cannot go. Kazi azifanyi kazi nafasi mingi. Watu wanafungwa ndani ya manyumba. The airplane, the airplane they are not flying and even uh, many business have been closed and many people are in their house. Watu wengi kuwauliza and many people if you ask them. Yesu anakuambia ukiongea naye mambo ya maisha and when you ask them you about a few, few uh, life kila mtu wote hapa duniani. Everybody in this world wote wanasema corona. They are saying oh corona. Watu wanasema corona. They are speaking about corona. Wanakuambia si unaona corona imeharibu kila kitu. Are they are telling you oh you see that corona has has uh, uh, has ruined everything. Na ni kweli and it is true. 
Bwana asifiwe. Praise the name of Jesus. Na ukiona kweli corona. And when you see about corona. Kwa macho ya kimwili. And when you look at corona with the physical eyes. Imearibu mambo mengi. It has destroyed many things. Lakini kwa wana wa Mungu leo. But for they that are in Christ today. Nakuja kuambia ukweli. I want to tell you the truth. Biblia inasema hivi. The Bible says this. Sisi hatuangalie kwa macho ya kimwili. We don't look by the physical eyes. Sisi tunaangalia kwa macho ya kiroho. But we are looking through the spiritual eyes of the Holy Spirit. mambo ya macho ya kimwili. For the things of the spirit. So for the things of the of the fresh ni wakati mchache there for 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 just a few time alakini wale wanatizama sisi tunatizama kwa macho ya kiroho but for they that look through the spiritual eyes ni ya milele na milele it is for eternity kile mungu alikuwa idea what god has promised you lazima utakifikia you will you will see it kumbuka habari za abraham remember somebody that was called abraham wakati mungu alimwaidia mtoto when god promised him a, a, the, a child na huyo mtoto akamwambia kwa huyo mtoto isaka and he told him that that, that child Isaac hapo ndio patatoka that is where there will be urizi wa dunia nzima there will be an inheritance to the whole world alisha kumwambia hivyo and when he told him that na miaka alimaliza ana mtoto and the, and the time that uh, was fulfilled with that child wakati abraham alipata mtoto and when god gave abraham the child wakati abraham alipata mtoto and when god gave abraham a child mungu akamwambia abraham and god told abraham nitoe tambiko hiyo mtoto ah uh, uh, you, you give him a uh, uh, he will give, to give him as a sacrifice na mungu alikuwa alimwambia kama kwa huyo mtoto and god told him for that child ndo patatoka mataifa dunia nzima that is where they are will come are uh, many nations Abraham and the Abraham amenifurahisha sana he, he, I am happy for Ni him baba wa imani kabisa he is a father of faith hakutia mashaka he did not doubt god ukisoma hiyo abrania 11 pale when we read in that word in the book of hebrews 17 mpaka 18 uh, 17 to 18 wa abrania sura 11 sura sura 11 mstari wa 17 mpaka 18 mm-hmm. biblia inasema hivi the bible says this Abraham Abraham hakuwa na mashaka kumtoa tena Isaka He did not have any doubt sacrificing or giving, uh, Isaac Anajua kuwa hataki mtoa kikufa He knew that even if somebody will die Mungu atamfufua God can raise him Bwana sifiwe sana Praise Jesus Christ Unajiwaza kuwa Mungu anakwambia katika huyo mtoto ndio tafanya miujiza e, tena nakwambia akufe You, you you wonder that the god is saying that through that child god will do a miracle but then he he, he say that the child is will die akini alikuwa naamini kama tamfufua but uh, abraham he believed that god would resurrect uh, his child nakwambia hata hizi siku za corona i'm telling you even in these days of corona kuna watu wengi sana there are many people kuna mambo walikuwa wanatarajia there are things that they were expecting lakini wakakata tamaa but they give up sisi yote tulikuwa tunajua kuna vitu vitafunguka ndani ya maisha yetu nyakati kama hizi. We all knew that there is something that will come in these days. Lakini wa Kristo ni nawafariji leo. But I want to tell you Christians. Heri ule anaamini better they that believe. Kile Mungu alisema what God say kitatendeka tu. It will come to be had to happen. Kitatendeka tu. It shall come to be fulfilled. Huyu alikuwa anaamini kama mtoto amekufa. He believed that if the child will die. Ila akajua tu atafufuliwa. But he knew that the Lord has the power to Abraham raise him. Abraham alikuwa anambeba kumuua tu. Abraham was going just to kill him. Akini alikuwa anasema atafufuliwa tu. But he knew that God would resurrect him. Kuna macho unapasha kutembea nazo nyakati kama haya. You must have spiritual eyes to walk in this hour. Toa macho katika mambo ya kimwili. I uh, remove your eyes from the physical things. Pandisha imani katika macho ya kiroho. Let your faith be in the things of the spirit. Kwa Mungu ana uwezo wote. For God has the power. Mungu aliniaidia maisha mema. God promised you something uh, a good life. Akanambia atanitumia kama chombo cha heshima. And he told me that he will, he will, he will use me as a, a vessel of honor. Nikasafiri nchi ya Lubumbashi pale Congo. And I traveled in Congo. Nikao nika, nikatumwa na Mungu kuiombea Kongo siku saba And I was sent in Congo to, to pray for Congo for seven, day, seven days. Wakati nilirudi Rwanda and when I, I, I returned to Rwanda nikapumzika kidogo I rested a bit. Lakini nilipitia chini nikapita Arusha and then when I passed through I passed even through Arusha nikaumwa and I was I was bite nikaumwa I was bite nikaumwa diabetes. He he was bite with the diabetes ikanishika 
and he was uh, he was struck with diabetes. He did not know that he was uh, struck with diabetes. Wakati nifika Arusha, and when he was in Arusha, nikachukua ndege. He he, te, he took uh, the airplane. Nikashuka mpaka Kigali. And he went even to the Kigali. Ambulance kanichukua airport. And the ambulance took him to the to the airport. Paka coma. Into coma. Wakanipima and uh, and they, he was diagnosed wakakutana diabetes and they saw that he she was suffering from diabetes bwana sifiwe sana praise jesus nataka leo koma kiroho i want to, you to mature spiritually sasa imani yako iwe juu leo your your faith should Ujue be high today anatenda. that is for you to know that god does hata unaona vitu vinataka kufa even if you see things are about to die usitupe imani ndugu yangu don't lose your faith usikati tamaa don't lose your faith wakati niko kwenye hospital when i was in the hospital katika hiyo coma in that coma wakagusa shindano katika mguu and they they they, uh, they, they pissed me uh, in the leg wakapiga vibaya pakaonekana kidonda kikakuja and the, when they pissed they, they did a mistake and there was a wood wakati hicho kidonda kimekuja and when the wood came watu walikuwa wanajua nitakatwa mguu all people said that i would lose my my leg na najua na wewe na wandugu zako na watu walikatwa miguu I know that you know that there are, there are people who have lost their leg. Jo walikuwa na vidonda. Because they had wood. Na kuna wale walipona. And there are those that are Na hicho kidonda wanasema kiponi. And the, and they that have diabetes they, they say that uh, that wood cannot be healed. Nikafanya mwezi mzima usi. And and he was in a, one month in hospital. Wakapanga kunikata mguu. And they planned how they would cut his leg. Katika usi nikaumba sana. But in the hospital he prayed so much. Nikamu Mungu afungue nirudi nyumbani for God to open the door so that he may go back. Sasa nilikuwa na watu walikuwa nafikiri nina stress. People were thinking that I had the stress. Juu ya huyo mguu because of my leg. Walikuwa na tena wanajua niko na stress juu ya watoto wangu wako nyumbani. And they also say that I have stress because of my wife and my children who are there far. Kosa the wakafanya ndio ninasema Ah uh, the Bible says eh? anasema kosa wamefanya wa daktari ah uh, the, 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 the sin the sin they did a sin the, doc, the doctor sinned wakanipangia nirudi nyumbani 2 weeks and they planned for him to go back to, to his country 2 weeks nirudi nyumbani nitoke OC nende nyumbani so that he may he, he may go back to the house nifanye 2 weeks to do 2 weeks nirudi tena OC then he, he go uh, then so that he may after after he go back to home he may return back to the hospital ni kidonda cha hatari sana it was a wood a wood a dangerous wood wakanipa madawa ya kunywa and i, I was given a medicine wakanipa my insulin and he was given insulin madawa ya kwa hicho kidonda and uh, and rubbing uh, rubbing uh, d- d- uh, cures nikaingia ndani ya nyumba and i i was brought in the house nikamuita mke wangu and i uh, and i called my wife nikamwambia huyu mungu tunaomba and i and i asked the, uh, and i co- i told her this uh, god that we are serving asiponiponya if he don't hear me itakuwa sio ule mungu na joa pita it shall be that this is not god that i uh, of the peter kwa kuwa mungu mimi naabudu for god that i know that i worship ni ule alimfufua lazaro is the god that resurrected lazaro kama alifufua mtu alioza ndani ya chini if he, uh, he, he resurrected lazaro who had decayed akaka diabetes na kidonda vitapona just this diabetes and this wood it will be healed nikaeka ndani ya nyumba and i stayed in the house nikanuka and my, I, my 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 wood was sticking nikanuka miezi minane nilikuwa ndani ya nyumba ninanuka sticking for 8 8 month watu wanaingia ndani ya nyumba wanafanya hivi and when people come in the house they just uh, uh, touch the uh, hold their their nose because i was i was having a bad stench lakini natakwambia mpendwa but i want to tell you believer neno lilaika ndani mwetu the word of god when the word of god will be lina nguvu that word will be power Shetani anamshinda mtu ana maandiko matakatifu ndani mwake. The devil cannot overcome anybody who have the word of God in his heart. Kama una maandiko matakatifu. If you have the holy word of God in you. Nataka kukupa siri. I want to tell you a secret. Kwa nini shetani na Yesu? I want to tell you why is the devil and Jesus walibishana kwa neno? Why do they why did they argue in the word? Yesu anaingia katika neno. Jesus Christ is uh, enter to the word na shetani anaingia katika neno and the devil also enter to the word hapa katika neno hapa but at the word pako nguvu there is the word there pako is the power zima. there is the life nataka kukwambia i want to tell you lile neno nikalituma kwa kile kidonda that the, that word that i had i sent it to my to my wood 
wakati mimi nime, nimeingia ndani ya nyumba natoka usisori and when i was in the uh, in, in my house after the hospital nikamwambia mke wangu tupa hiyo madawa yote i told my wife throw away those medicine dawa zote akatupa and he threw them away kama ile damu ya yesu anasema and i said the, the blood of jesus christ hii tunatangazia watu the blood that i speak for people inaponya that blood heals Bele niende nikahubiri watu kama inaponya. That brother I will testify to it that Acha iniponye kwanza mimi. Before, before I go to testify for people for that the, that brother heal. Nikai, Let that brother heal me fast. Nikaika bila kunywa dawa bila kujipiga shindano and, bila kuosha kidonda. And I stayed without without, uh, without without drinking without drinking uh, consuming the medicine and even washing the, the wood. Nilikuwa tunatia maji tu. And I just uh, 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 pouring water upon it. Nikapata neno. And I uh, the word of God came unto me. Biblia inasema kama mbegu haijaoza. The Bible says that if the if the seed if the seed has not uh, uh, decayed. Haiwezi kauta. That, that seed cannot uh, cannot grow again. Nikamwambia kidonda. And I told uh, the, I told that wood. Unaona hiyo miguu inaingia ndani. You see that uh, uh, the, the leg. Imehubiri injini mataifa. This leg has preached the gospel in the Nikaongea na kidonda. And I was speaking with my wood. Sasa niache. Wood leave me away. Nataka kwenda kuhubiri injini. I want to go and preach the gospel. Mimi siwezi kukatwa mguu. I cannot me you I cannot be I cannot be, uh, be, 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 be I cannot don't lose my leg. Kwa kuwa mfalme wangu msalabani wa kumvunja miguu. Uh, because uh, the, the, my master my master at the cross he did not lose his legs. Miezi nani kafika? Uh, for for eight months. Nikaona kidonda kinaanza kutoka ndani damu nyingi sana. I saw that the wood now began to spill more blood. Kidonda kikaenda kinakauka. And then afterward, the, 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 that wood was beginning to be healed. Yesu akaniponya. And Jesus Christ healed my leg. Bwana asifiwe sana. Praise the name of the living God. Nataka kukwambia leo, I want to tell you today. Yesu, Jesus, anatembea na wale wenye imani. He walks through with those that have faith. Na watu mimi ninaombea and people that I pray for. Nawaombea kupitia imani. I pray for them with faith. Na yeye kwa na imani na mimi niko na imani. And you must have faith and I must have faith. Usipokuwa na imani mwa ya Mungu. If you don't have faith in this way, hauwezi kwa ku, ku, kuona Mungu. You cannot see God. Hauwezi kupokea kile kinatoka kwa Mungu. You cannot receive what comes from God. Neno inasema ukiomba kupitia mashaka. The word of God said that when you pray when you are doubting. Hauwezi kupokea kitu cha kinatoka kwa Mungu. You cannot receive anything that comes from God. Ule ana roho mbili. The one ha- that have double minded. Hauwezi kupokea kile kinatoka kwa Mungu. You cannot receive anything that comes from God. Kwa na imani kamili. You must have faith. Ukiamini hapa unaingia ni hapa tu. If you fail you have faith in this you do do the thing. Tena kitu wa Kristo wengi. Many Christian today Awa muombi ule Mungu anaweza yote. They are not praying that a God that is able everything. Wengi wanatumia kusema Mungu ametupa akili. Uh, many people they are saying oh God has given us a uh, 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 wisdom. Wanataka kujipigania. And they want to fight for their own. Mungu alisema God says but watu wanasema people even say si Mungu not God. Jisaidie na Mungu atakusaidia. People say oh uh, f- f- uh, let me help myself and God will help Hakuna me. Hakuna kitu chenye Mungu anakuomba. They say that God help those who help themselves. Mungu anakuomba tu uwe na imani. God, what God is just telling you, just have faith. Kumwamini kama anaweza. You believe God. Bwana asifiwe. He can be able. Sisi hapa tunatuona. We that you see. Tunaishi kwa imani. We live by faith. Tuko na wake na watoto. We do have uh, 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 children and even wife. Tunakula kwa imani. And we eat by faith. Tunalipa nyumba kwa imani. We do uh, we, we live by faith. Tunavaa kwa imani. We dress by faith. Hakuna maduka. There's nothing that uh, about uh, work. Hakuna fasi unasema tunatoa pesa. There's no somewhere that you are, you go. Tuliishi kwa kuamini. We live by we are living by faith. Tukaambiliwa kama Mwami, mwaminifu wa Mungu ataishi kwa imani wa Ibrania 10:38 Tukaamini hiyo neno and we believe that word Wengine wanasema haiwezekani and say that, and others say oh it is not possible Inakuwa mimi miaka 20 naishi hayo maisha Being for 20 years I'm living the full life Full time haleluya A full time Mwaminifu wangu ataishi kwa imani The faithful one will live by faith Akirudi nyuma roho yangu haitamfurahia. But if he shrink back my heart will not be pleased. Roho ya Mungu inarudia tena haitakufurahia. You see that the spirit of God is saying again he, he will not be happy with you if you shrink back if you look back. Muaminifu wa Mungu anaishi kwa imani. 
The righteous of God, he lived by faith. Acha kurudi nyuma. Stop going back. Acha kurudi nyuma. Stop turning back. Ukirudi nyuma, if you turn back, hautamfurahisha Mungu. You will not please God. Kama alikwambia utaolewa, if God told you that you will be you will get uh, married. Acha kukata tamaa. Don't lose her heart. Acha kuangalia siku. Don't uh, look the days. Mimi najua watu wengi, many peoples Waliolewa najua mtu aliolewa kwa imani. They were married by faith. Iko na miaka 41. And they do have now 41 years. Amefanya ndoa nzuri sana. And he did a good wedding. Ameshangaza watu. And uh, he he shocked many people. Lakini watu, watu wengi walikuwa walikata tamaa juu yake. And many people they had lost hope upon him. Lakini huyo dada alikuwa anashinda kwa maombi. But that woman she was living in the prayer. Bwana akakuja and God came akafanya ndoa and he did a wedding na kikombe cha kuzaa and, and and in the time of, of giving birth atapata watoto and he, he, he she will be given birth uh, Bwana children Bwana sifue sana praise the name of Jesus hii imani ndio itakuingiza mbinguni this faith is what will make you to enter the kingdom of God acha nikwambie kitu kimoja let me tell you one thing Bwana wewe unamwamini Yesu why do you believe on Jesus Bwana ule anasali kwa Islamu Why are they they are worshiping in the in the Muhammad? Bona ule wengine anasali katika nyingine dini. Why are they other they are worshiping in another religion? Dini ziko nyingi sana. I want to say that many are religions. Na, na njia ziko nyingi sana. Many are the ways that people worship. Imani ilikwambia wewe kama Yesu ndio Mungu na takufikisha mbinguni ulitoa wapi? But that faith that told you that Jesus is God, where did you uh, 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 see that faith? Chuo ya hizo dini nyingi in the all those religions zimewachanganya warokori they have uh, they, they, they have mixed up the christians leo murokori ukimwambia kama tenda mbinguni today a christian if you tell him that he will go to heaven anakuwa na mashaka ah some they, they have doubt hata wewe tuko tunazungumza leo even you that we are speaking today na mimi tunaongea and you me i'm speaking na kuuliza and i'm asking hivi una, unaamini utaenda mbinguni do you believe that you will enter heaven kwa kuwa dini ni nyingi because many are the, are the churches imani ni nyingi many are the faith lakini imani katika Kristo but faith in Christ ndio inabeba watu mbinguni is what carries people kwa nini sisi tu tunaamini kama imani katika Kristo ndio itatufikisha mbinguni why do we do we believe in, we believe in Jesus that Jesus through faith in Jesus will be taken to heaven na ndio maana wa Kristo wengi that's why many Christians kwa safari tunaenda mbinguni are the journey that we are going to heaven tukifika katikati when we when we step the, in, at the center pakianza kuwa majaribu when there is uh, there, 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 there is trials mtu akikutana na mateso and when you start experiencing uh, the trials anaanza ku, kusikia zingine njia na zingine dini and you start hearing the uh, other religion and other faiths anapotea and you get carried away kwa kuwa hii njia ya Yesu because this way of Jesus usipokuwa na imani if you don't have faith hautaifata you cannot go through this way acha nikwambie kwanza let me tell you ni njia ngumu sana it is a difficult way hii ni njia ngumu sana it is a difficult way na walisema and they said ye mwenyewe Yesu Jesus said njia pana kubwa that there is a broad way inapita ndani watu wengi sana a broad way passes many people na tena inawabeba wapi and it carries people to destruction lakini njia kwenda mbinguni ni pana inafungwa but the way to heaven it is a narrow way and this is is, is a narrow way lakini wenye wataipita ndani ni wachache and they that pa, will pass through that way they are very few hii neno ndio inavunja mioyo watu wengi sana this word is what break many heart of many people lakini nataka kuambia mpendwa but i want to tell you brother hii ni njia ninaisikia this way that you are hearing ninaipita ndani this way that we are passing kama uipiti pamoja na Yesu if you don't pass with Jesus hauwezi kupita katika hiyo njia you cannot pass through that way bwana sifiwe sana praise jesus ninaomba wakristo wapite katika hiyo njia inafungwa i'm praying that you christian that you go through that way that is a narrow way wawe pamoja na Yesu that you may be with jesus christ hapana kuwa na mashaka kama hao utaingia mbinguni au utaingia ukiuliza mkristo utaingia mbinguni anasema bwana unaona ni, ni neema tu ajiamini Don't ask oh uh, will I enter heaven and when you ask other people will I enter heaven they don't even know themselves they don't even believe about entering heaven Lazima uwe na imani kama utaenda mbinguni You must also have faith that if you will go to heaven Kwanza lazima uamini kama Yesu ndio Mungu You must believe that Jesus Christ is God Paka ubishi dunia nzima 
In the whole world there is confusion. Waamini kama Yesu ni Mungu. They don't believe that Jesus Christ is God. Lakini leo tunakutangazia. But I, today we tell you that Jesus is God. Yesu ndio Mungu. Jesus is God. Tukienda hata maandiko tutakupa. If we go even to the scripture we will find that Jesus is God. Sisi hatusemi kama Yesu ni Mungu juu tumesoma. We don't see just something that we don't see. Si tunakushuhudia kama Yesu ni Mungu tuliona. We will witness you that Jesus is God we saw it. Nataka na wewe usisomi tu na wewe uone kweli Yesu ni Mungu. I want you not just to read but to even to see that Jesus is God. Hapana kusoma neno. Don't just read the word. Uingie kanisani. Then you enter in the church. Uhubiriwe kila siku. Then you get uh, the message every day. Au yaona kama Yesu ni Mungu. But you have not uh, you have not seen that God uh, Jesus is God. Lazima takufanyizia kitu Yesu mwambie nioneshe baba. There must be manifestation that uh, God, that you can tell God. Oh ni, God show me prove ni yourself. Nikakusifu kama we ni Mungu. Yes, I will praise you because you you are God. Juni najua kama hajakufanyizia kitu na wewe. Because you know if he have not uh, done something or manifested himself to you. Kumwamini kwa nguvu sana. Uh, to believe him it is very hard leo unamwamini kiroho because today you can believe him in spirit yesu alisema and just said wale wananiamini bila kuona that they that believe without seeing ndio wana wa mungu they are they the children of god najua ni neno it is the word of god lakini unafika katikati leo but it is you must enter somewhere in the center unaanza kuwa na mashaka and you start saying ah you, you are doubting upon god sasa mashaka iko katika kanisa and many are doubt in the church ni unabii watu walitabiriwa it is because many people they have been prophesied wali watabiria mambo mengi sana they have been prophesied many things na hayo mambo hayatimii and those things are not coming to, uh, to, to fulfill La, leo nataka kutangazie i want to proclaim to you today unabii wewe umetegemea nabii that you might be a uh, 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 trusting or you must be waiting upon the prophet hauku uliendelea na mtizamo huyo nabii you are looking upon a prophet wakati wanakutabiria kitu when they are prophesying to you toa macho kwa huyo nabii sasa you need now subiri yesu kristo sasa you need to turn your uh, your your eyes out of the prophet and now turn your eyes to jesus amini yesu kama atakupa hicho kitu believe now jesus christ that he will give you amini yesu kama atakupa hicho kitu believe jesus that he will give you na kuna manabii wa uongo because there are many false prophets mnakutana nao that the, uh, you, 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 pit, you hawatumiki na mbingu that those prophets they are not used by god neema ya mungu ikushukie leo and the grace of god let it be upon you ufunguke macho that your eyes may be open ukutane na manabii wa kweli that you may meet a true prophet yesu anasema Jesus says Nabii wa ukweli that the true prophet ni ule anakutabiria kitu kinatokea it is he who proclaims something and it come to be fulfilled anasema wale wanatabiri vitu havitokei they that prophesy things that, that are do not fulfill mwapige mawe you must see that they are false prophets si mawe tu haya haikutupa you you must throw uh, you must you, it's not just a stone of uh, throwing to them ni kuapa mgongo mnapotea but is it to turn back to turn your back to them acha kuikaa mahali aoni jibu Don't stay somewhere there is no uh, uh, answer. Mungu ni jibu. God is answer. Anasema mwaminifu wangu ataishi kwa imani. Bible say that the faith the, faith, the righteous one will live by faith. As- ataishi kwa imani he live by faith akirudi nyuma if you turn back roho yangu itamfurahia my heart will not be anasema be, sisi be, be, si wakurudi nyuma tusiangamii the bible say that we are not of those who turn back and are destroyed sisi ni wakuokolewa tupate kwenda mbinguni but we are of those who are saved and will get into the kingdom sisi atuko wakurudi nyuma we are not of those who turn back tusiangamii those that are being destroyed mahali umefika kuamini Yesu where you are believe Jesus mahali unafika unasonga kwenda uone ahadi uliahidiwa na Yesu you must continue going even uh, trusting upon God seeing that God promised you usirudi nyuma do not turn back tembea na imani kamili walk by faith with Christ, through Christ bila mashaka Be without doubt walikutabiria utazaa they promise that you will, you will receive a child wewe unaona hujazaa and you have not g- g- even given birth lakini kitu ninakwambia but what i am telling you songa na hiyo imani ah uh, continue without faith wewe unataka mtoto you do you want a child sasa mtu alikutabiria kwa jina la shetani and that was about kwa jina la mtu did he prophesy you through the, the, the name of the devil or the name of the man walikutabiria utazaa katika jina la Yesu they if they prophesied in the name of Jesus anakuja kuangalia imani yako hiyo prophet god uh, that man is coming to see that your faith na wewe ongeza imani and you you must have that faith lakini una katika unakata tamaa but do not turn back unataka unakata tamaa do not lose uh, lose your hope imani inapimwa uh, your faith will be measured 
Kila kitu chote baraka unataka kwa Mungu. Everything that we have, every breath must be tested. Inapimwa kwa, kwa imani. It is being tested by faith. Bwana sifiwe sana. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Kanisa la Yesu Kristo. The church of our Lord Jesus. Imani ndio itakusongesha kwa kila jambo yote. Faith is what will draw us near to everything. Na imani itajaribiwa. And our faith shall be tested. Imani yako itajaribiwa. Our faith shall be tested. Itajaribiwa na ule unaishi naye. It shall be tested with who you live with. Itajaribiwa na wa ndugu zako. It shall be tested with even your brothers. Imani yako itajaribiwa na kila mtu wote. Your faith shall be tested by everybody. Vivunja moyo utawaona wanakuja. Heart breakers you receive they will be coming. Watu wengi imani yao imevunjwa. Many people their faith have been broken. Waliomba kupitia mashaka. Because they they prayed through doubt. Hawakuwa na imani kamili. They did not have uh, true faith. Sisi tumeamini hapo unatuona. You we are we believe Jesus we believe in faith. Kama Mungu atatutumia that God God will use us kama wakina Peter like how Peter or uh, the apostles were being used aliwatoa kwa kazi zao and they were brought out of their work akawatia kwa kazi ya kuroa kuroa watu and they were given the work the, the work the work of, we, of 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 winning or or fishing after the human aliwaambia nyinyi and he, they were told amtaongeza kuroa samaki that you will not be fishers of of, of the fish Nyinyi mtaroa watu. You will become the fishers of men. Aliwatoa kwa kazi. And they, they, they were taken out of their work. Akawapa kazi. And he gave them his own. Kazi work. nzuri sana. A good work. Hiyo kazi si ndio tunafanya. That work is what we do. Tunaamini hiyo kazi. We believe in that work. Lakini watu wakituona, but when many people when they see us, wanatukata tamaa. Ah uh, they disgrace us they, they they disappoint us. Hakuna full time. They say oh there's not full time. Hiyo muende mkatafute nyingine kazi. Uh, you must go and find another work. Hiyo mambo hakuna tena. They tell you that that, that thing about full work. Hayo ni mambo ya zamani wakati wa pita. That was just things of the ancient time. Hakuna kitu nataka kukwambia leo. There's something that I want to tell you today. If full time tunasema the full time that I say usipoitwa na Yesu if you don't if you are not called by God hautatoboa you cannot be able hautaweza kupita mwa injili you cannot go through you cannot survive in the gospel kula au juu utatoa picha kula to eat you don't know where you get au juu mahali utapokea pesa you don't know you don't know where you get it au juu watoto wataishi aje you don't know even how your children will live ukitumia akili za dunia if you use the the, the, the mind of the world hautapita mwa hiyo njia you cannot pass through that ukitumia macho ya kimwili if you use through the physical eyes na maneno ya watu wanasema and the word that people say hautapita kwa hiyo njia you cannot pass through that way hii ni mambo ya kiroho these are spiritual things wewe nikikwambia hivyo i when i tell you that hautaamini you will not believe kwa kuwa wewe haukupewa hiyo neema because you you are not given that grace lakini wale walipewa na hiyo neema ya kuwa full time but they that were given that grace to be a full time minister wanamuona Mungu they see god wanamuona Mungu they will see god hatutamaliza miaka 20 they they not uh, go for like for 20 years na watoto with the children tuko mwa kazi ya full time uh, being just in the full time hatujaona kitu we have not seen something bwana sifiwe sana praise the name of the living god tukikwambia gisi tunaishi I will tell you uh, when we tell you what how we live. Ni mambo ya maajabu sana. It is about the uh, the, the miracles. Kuna neno linasema Yohani 5:17. Uh, there is a word that says in the book of Yohani 5:17. Ah uh, John 5:17. Uh, Inasema baba anatenda kazi mpaka sasa. Uh, the Bible say that God is uh, the father does his work even today na mimi ninatenda that even today i am doing nataka kukwambia ndugu yangu mpendo i want to tell you today my brethren komalisha ahadi yako na Mungu you you must fulfill your promises with god kile Mungu alikuwa idea what god promised kitatimia shall come to be fulfilled sisi hapa unatuona tuko Nairobi we that you see here that today tunahubiri injili ya ufalme wa mbinguni we preach the gospel of god today. kuna mahali tunaenda uh, there somewhere we are going hapana kusema corona imefunga vitu vyote i uh, don't say oh corona has closed everything mkristo hapana kukiri kwa kinywa chako upatie corona nguvu oh do not just say with your own mouth giving corona the strength oh sisi atuioni Uh, we said we don't see it sisi tunaona ahadi zile Mungu alituaidia spiritual people 
say they, they don't see it. They see the, just the promises of God. Zile what will come to fulfill? Kwa jina la Yesu in the name of Jesus. Lazima paje kitu kitapima imani ya wa Christu. You see, there is, it is a must. There is something will come to measure the faith of a Christian. Palikuja kitu kinapima imani ya wa Christu. Something came that was, uh, was measuring the faith of a Christian. Watu wa Christu wengi walikuwa na maadi na maunabi na vitu vyote. Many Christian, they, they do have a, 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 that, 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 uh, uh, that, that uh, promise. Hizo promise tulikuwa tuliaidiwa na Mungu sisi yote. We, we were promised all those promise. Na wewe uko na promise. And you you have your promise. Kuna kazi ulikuwa nayo katika nchi ya nje. Maybe there's something that you, you are you are doing in foreign country. Kuna mambo yalifungwa juu ya hii magonjwa ya corona. Maybe there are some there's something that was caused due to the corona. Ni kama gisi Abraham na aliona mtoto wake anaenda kufa. It is like how Abraham he saw that oh my child is going to die. Lakini aliamini ndani ya moyo wake kama atafufuka. But he believed in his, in his heart that this child will be raised back. Nataka kukwambia leo mpendwa. I want to tell you today. Wewe na mimi tunachangia njia. You that you are uh, you are going through this way. Nataka kukwambia leo ukubali. I want to tell you to believe. Lazima ile ahadi Mungu alituaidia tatimia. It is a must for that promise of God that he, he, he promised us. It is a must for that promise to be fulfilled. Toka ku mawazo ya corona. Uh, get out of that mind on the thought of corona. Tazama kile uliongea na Mungu kitatimia tu. Now look upon what God promised and it shall come to fulfill. Hicho ni kipimo kilikuja kuangalia kanisa la Kristo kama lina imani. That is just a measurement which was sent to measure the church of God everywhere if they do have faith. Watu walisema mambo mengi. Many people spoke a many things. Tutubu bwana. Let, let us repent. Kanisa lina linanyakuliwa. The church is will be will be raptured. Lakini wana sababu maandiko gisi inasema. But the people they, they, they don't be, uh, they forget the scripture what the scripture says. Ma, wo, na mapasta na manabii na mitume wote wamechanganyikiwa. And even now the many pastors Many servants they have become now Ma, confused. Matajiri wenye hekima marais watu wote wamechanganyikiwa. At the president a great man many people they have become they are confused. Lakini leo unaona tunahubiri nchi na furaha kubwa unashangaa tunaona nini? But today we are preaching the gospel where we are happy we are rejoicing what are we seeing? Sasa wewe unashangaa hao watu wanaona nini wanahubiri wanaona nini kila tuoni? And you wonder what are these men seeing what we don't see? Si tunaona kitu kinaitwa uamsho unakuja. We see the revival that is coming. Sisi hatuoni corona tunaona uamsho unakuja. We don't see corona we see the revival that is coming. Wewe unaona nini wewe? What are you seeing? Wewe unaona nini wewe? You what are you seeing? Mkristo mzima uko na Biblia, unaona nini leo? You are full Christian with the, the word of God. What do you see? Mpagani anakusemea kwa masikio kama dunia inaisha unakubali. Ah, the, 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 the people of the world, they are telling you oh the, the world is coming to an end and you believe. Kuna maandiko hayatimia. Ah, there, there is the word of God that shall be fulfilled. There, there is word of God which must be fulfilled. Kuna injili taubiriwa ya ufalme wa Mungu the, dunia nzima. The, there will be fast the gospel to be preached to the whole world. Na ni wewe na mimi tutaihubiri hiyo injili. And it is you and me who will be witness that Sasa gospel. Sasa tulishaihubiri hiyo injili. So we must preach that gospel fast. Hatuyaihubiri hiyo injili ya ufalme wa mbingu dunia. We have not to preach that gospel in the whole world. Kwa nini wanakushtua juu ya corona? Why are they are they scared in you and uh, uh, through uh, through corona virus? Na wewe umeokoka. And you are born again. Vuka hiyo mawazo. Uh, you must cross through that Bwana that sifuwe mind. sana. Praise Jesus. Maisha yataendelea. The, the life will continue. Na corona itatoka. And co- corona will pass. Na wat- wale watatubu watatubu. And they that will repent will repent. Injili itaendelea. And the gospel will continue. Siku za kurudi kwa Bwana. And the days of our Lord Jesus to come. Kuna zile signs zinazoonekana. There are those signs that have not been fulfilled. Unaona tunasubiri wale wa siku ya 666 hayaonekana sana. We are still waiting some of the days of the the, 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 the six the, of the antichrist and the 666 They are still coming. Ukisoma Biblia, when we read the word of God, utaona gisi inaandikwa mfunuo wa Yohana. We shall see what the word of God say. Wanasema wale watapigwa signs kwa kichwa na kwa mkono wa kuume. Ah, uh, the Bible says that they that will be given a number, a number of the 66 and even on the forehead. Ukishaona wanatia kwa kichwa na kwa mkono, that when you see that they are being uh, uh, given that number, hapana ku, ku 
kila saa kumpatia 666 utukufu ah uh, don't just say oh about 666 kila kitu chote ndo huyu anakuya ndo huyu kitu kote ndio huyu today people they are just saying 666 that uh, everything that come by the way they say oh they are receiving 666 anything any technology all oh, this is 666 hapana this is the mark of the beast no siku taona wanatia hapa kwa kichwe no the bible says that that is success. when you see them that they will be given they will be given uh, on their head na mkono wa kumi. and even in, on their right hand hapo ujue huyo ameingia ah that is when you know that now this is the antichrist is coming tusonge tusikati tamaa so let us continue and let us not give up watu wasiachi maombi let us not give up on prayers watu wasiachi kufunga let us not give up on fasting watu wasiachi kusoma neno let us not give up on the word of god kanisa ni hiyo hiyo ndani ya nyumba yako sasa the church is right there they are there where you are they are ah, in your house ndani ya nyumba there. ndio kuna kanisa that is there where you are that is the church wokovu ni mtu binafsi sasa salvation is you personal right now wokovu ni wako binafsi ah the salvation is for you uh, personal mungu anataka kutizama unaamini mtu au mungu God want to see if you believe men or be believe God. Ni vizuri kukusanyika. It is good to be gathered. Miaka ngapi umekusanyika? But, but how many time have you been gathered in the church? Chichunguze sasa uko wewe mwenyewe sasa. Now examine yourself. Hiyo inaonesha kila mtu that is now showing each and every of us. Yesu alimwambia and Jesus said mtu ananipenda. That oh you love me. Mtu ananipenda. Somebody love me. Abebe msalaba wake anifuate. If anybody who loves me, he must carry his own burden, his own uh, cross. Hivi kila mtu yuko kumsalaba wake sasa. So that right now we need to take our own cross, our own burden. Na ndio maana tulipata hii neema kuambia nyinyi. That is why you have found the grace of God to tell. Mpate kujua huyu ukweli. So that you may know that truth. Muwe na imani kamili. So that you may have the full truth, the full uh, faith. Bila kuomba na mashaka. Uh, without uh, without pray uh, without praying with doubt. Unaomba Mungu, you pray God. Ulishaomba and you prayed so much unatoka nje then you, uh, you you get out ukipata jaribu and when you see a trouble kile kitu kama kijatimia if, some, if that thing has not been fulfilled unakata tamaa ah uh, you give up biblia inasema tukishaomba the bible says that when we pray tushukuru kuwa tumepata we so that we may, when we pray the bible says that when we pray we need to give thanks that we have received it bwana sifiwe sana Praise Jesus. Kile umeomba, everything that you have asked. Amini kama umekipata. You must believe that you have received it. Tutakusaidia kwa kuomba. He shall help you by praying. Lakini kama una imani, but if you don't have faith, hautapokea kitu. You will not receive anything. Yesu Kristo ni Mungu. Jesus Christ is God. Hakuwa anakuja na tabiria watu sana. He did not just come to prophesy things. Jesus ye mwenyewe ni Mungu. Jesus Christ himself is God. Alikuwa anakutana na mtu. He, he, he was walking with the people. Alikuwa anamuuliza nini? And when he met somebody he asked Unataka nini? What do you need? Unataka nini? What do you need? Anataka Yesu alikuwa anauliza unataka nini kwake? Jesus Christ used to ask, what do you what do you need? Wengine walikuwa naambia nataka kuona, some of they were saying I want to see. Anaambia imani yako imekuponya. And they were told your faith has healed you. Unataka nifanye nini? What do you want to God to do? Imani yako imekuponya. Your faith has healed you. Hata ule mama, even that woman. Yesu akamwambia aka Yesu mtoto wangu anaumwa. That woman Jesus Christ uh, that woman told Jesus that my child is in pain. Ye, Yesu akamwambia chakula cha watoto wangu hatutakipa umbwa. And Jesus Christ told her that the, the food the food of the, of the, of children we shall not give it to, to, to dogs. Ule mama akamwambia hata umbwa zinakula tule tu chakula tunatoka and the woman told her told, told told Jesus that even dogs they do eat those uh, left over those, those food that are left over in the or, or in the table of the kings akamwambia mama wende imani yako inamponya mtoto akapona hapo hapo and Jesus told her that you woman go your faith imani yako ndio itakuponya kwa hiyo your faith is what will heal you wasi kudanganyi mapesa utoe mapesa ufanye nini don't be deceived that oh bring money leta iki leta mbegu leta nini don't be deceived by oh uh, so i said here do this offering do this this kitu kikubwa ni kukutana na Yesu uh, well, just one thing to do it is to meet god leo ninataka ukutane na Yesu today i want you to meet jesus hakuna mtu alikutana na Yesu katika biblia akakosa jibu nobody who ever met jesus and he, he did not see an answer a Her child was healed and jesus said that by your faith by your faith you are healed bwana <laughs> sifiwe sana praise the name of the lord Uyo jesus mama, that woman alikuwa na imani kali sana she had a great faith alikuwa 
Kwa hiyo baraka angepata. And in that faith she did not uh, she did not get anything. Haikutarajia huyo mama. Uh, without that faith she would not get anything. Alimwambia si hiyo 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 baraka haiku haikutarishia hiyo kabila. And and she, and she told uh, he told that woman that that blessing does not deserve that uh, kind of uh, of, of our tribe. Lakini kwa imani anayo ile mama. But because of the faith of that woman kila alimjibia Yesu what how Jesus Christ replied kilimgusa Yesu Kristo how that woman also replied yes. that- it was touch Jesus Christ. Yesu akasema imani yako imemponya. And Jesus Christ said that your faith by your faith you have been healed. Mpaka akasema siaona imani kama hii. And and he, and, he, and he said that I have not seen another the faith like this. Lazima uwe na imani itamshangaza Yesu huyu mwaka. You must have faith that we we we, we praise uh, we we shock many people this year. Na ukiona hicho kitu kinatokea. And when you see something that something will come utasema kweli namshukuru Mungu and you will say that true, truly i am thanking god yesu jesus hakuwa anatarabiria watu mambo mengi he did not just prophesy for our, our people many things kila akuone tu he just required you to he just required to see you au wewe muone or you to see jesus ni mambo mawili there are two things ni watu wawili two people yesu akuone jesus to see you au wewe muone or you to see Jesus. Ukikutana na Yesu, if you meet Jesus, maisha yanabadilika. Your life will be transformed. Ukikutana na Yesu, if you meet Jesus, maombi unapasha kuomba huyu mwaka. The prayers that you are praying this year, ju pastor haiko tena. Because pastor is not more there. Nabii haiko tena. The prophet is no more there. Uko ndani ya nyumba. Ah uh, we are uh, uh, we are in in the house. We peke. You are on. Tafuta Yesu sasa. Uh, you must seek Jesus now. Nakwambia ukimpata Yesu, when you look Jesus, utajibiwa. When you see Jesus, you will be answered. Nataka kukwambia maombi ya usiku wa leo. I want to tell you today. Mwambie Yesu nataka nikuone. Tell Jesus Christ I want to see you. Yesu nataka nikuone. Jesus I want to see you. Yesu nione. Jesus see me. Au wewe muone. Or you to see Jesus. Nakupa mifano Biblia. I want to tell you uh, two example in the word of God. Mama kamaona Yesu iko na miaka 12 anavua damu. Uh, there is a woman that saw Je- uh, there's a woman that saw Jesus Christ, the woman that was uh, breathing for. Akaamini ndani ya moyo wake. And when she believed in her heart. Nilimuona nikigusa ile tu nguo yake tu. That, that when I just touch touch the, the hem of the garment Tapona. I will be healed. Miaka 12 anavua damu. Uh, for, for for 12 years she was breathing. Niki, akasema nikigusa ile nguo yake tu and she believed that if i just touch the hem of the garment tapona i will be healed huyu alimuona yesu that woman she just saw jesus na yesu wakati alipita kwa kisima and when jesus Christ was passing through that well biblia inasema yesu akaona and the bible says that jesus Christ mtu anamaliza miaka 88 anao iko anasubiri kupona and somebody who is uh, is waiting for long she, she he know that will be alikuwa anasubiri ajitupe katika kisima cha maji and uh, that man he was waiting in the pool of the water to to Kusu... dip himself in the pool of water apate kupona so that he may receive the healing maji ilikuwa ikijigeuza tu mwenye kuwa wa kwanza tu anatupiwa ndani anapona and in that time if the, the the water was being troubled like that by the angel and the first man that would dip himself would receive the healing lakini yesu akamuona akapita hapo akamuona and jesus christ he passed there and he saw the man akamwangalia and he rock upon that man like that akamwambia unataka nikufanyie nini and he asked the man what do you need me to do kusema maneno mengi sana unaona and he started saying oh you see every time the water trouble watu wanakuwa wa kwanza kule sipati wa kunitia ndani uh, they, uh, they, they all go through but i don't have somebody to get me into the water unaamini kama nitakuponya but uh, do you believe that Jesus Christ will heal you? Naamini. I believe. Akamwambia chukua and he told him, chukua mizigo yako. Take your burdens. Ondoka. Go away. Kitu ninakuomba 2020. What I am telling you right now. Wakati unasikia hii injili, when you hear this gospel, nataka kukutane na Yesu. I want you to meet Jesus. Mwambie Yesu nataka nikuone sasa. Tell Jesus you uh, you need to to meet Jesus right now. Nataka tukutane. I want you to meet uh, I want you to to meet uh, uh, tell Jesus that you need to meet Jesus. Nataka unione Yesu. Jesus to see you. Wakati utamuona Yesu. When you will see Jesus. Au oh, yeye atakuona. Or Jesus will see you. Maisha yanabadilika. Uh, your life will be transformed. Wa Kristo nataka kuambia. Mene Christian I want to tell you. Pandisha imani. 
you must uh, you must uh, 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 you must make your your faith to be high tupandishe imani you must lift up your faith tupandishe imani lift up your faith Yesu anataka tupandishe imani. Jesus want us to lift up our faith. Tuache kuomba na mashaka. Let us stop praying with the doubt. Kama uko na mashaka, if you have faith, if you do, if you have a doubt, hautapata kile kinatoka kwa Mungu. Ndio neno inasema. You will not see what come from God. That is what the Bible say. Lakini ukiwa na imani bila mashaka, but if you have faith without doubt. Kama Yesu anatenda, if Jesus Christ does, utajibiwa. You will surely receive it. Bwana sifiwe sana. Praise the Lord Jesus. Na ujue majibu ya Mkristo and know that the, the, the prayers or uh, uh, the answers of a Christian. Yenye unasubiri, whatever that you are waiting. Kila mtu yuko na muda wake. That uh, there is there is a timeline for what you are waiting there is a timeline for your answer Kila mtu uko na muda wake wa kujibiwa Every time when we pray each and every of us we do have a timeline a timeline for that prayer to be answered Hiyo uijue that you need to know Inaomba I am praying kusubiri that you may wait Wa Kristo wengi many Christian wako na wasiwasi ya maisha they just waver they have care cares of the life wanataka vitu vya haraka haraka uh, they, they they want something or a quick thing quick Apana. thing no 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 Mungu anataka usubiri God want you to be patient to wait upon him Mungu anataka usubiri uh, God want you to wait Inaomba kusubiri God God is telling you to be patient Tena kusubiri be, in the patience bila kukata tamaa without giving up kile Mungu alikwambia what God promise you amini kama umekipata leo you must believe as if you have received it amini kama umekipata believe that you have received kila it. kitu chote unatafuta kwa Mungu utakipata whatever that you are seeking or you are waiting from God believe it that you have Yesu received it Yesu alisema kile kitu chote mtaomba katika jina langu mtakipata the, Jesus said that whatever that you will pray through my name you will receive it kusema hiyo kitu at mention that thing sio kusema unaomba kwa jina la Yesu unasema kwa jina la Yesu kipate it is not just to say oh in Jesus name uh, to the, 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 you have prayed Yesu anataka kuona kweli kama anaika ndani mwako Jesus Christ want to see to see if if inside you you are meaning you have you are meaning it wewe kama Yesu anaika ndani mwako if Jesus Christ is not in you sio wewe tena unaomba if Jesus Christ is in you it is not you again you are praying Yesu anaomba ndani mwako it shall be Jesus Christ praying in you watu wengi wanakauya kujibiwa many people who delay in uh, in the prayers wanaomba kwa kinywa they just pray uh, uh, through tongue lakini roho zao but their heart Yesu aikaenda ni mwao. Jesus Christ is not in the house. Anasema mnanipendesha vinywa. They say, "Oh, Jesus Christ says that you speak through mouth, lakini roho zenu ziko mbali zangu." You praise me through the tongue, but your heart are far away from me. Sasa utakuwa mbali ya Yesu muombe akupe, hauwezi kupa. You cannot be far away from God and pray for and God answer you. Lakini Yesu akiwa ndani mwako, uko ndani ya Yesu na wewe. But if Jesus Christ is in you, na wewe uko ndani ya Yesu and you are in Christ kitu chochote utaomba utapata whatever you pray to Je- from Jesus you will receive it bwana sifiwe sana praise the name of the living god kwa ndugu zangu niwaambie my brother my sister want to tell you kitu kinatoka kwa Mungu whatever that come from god ukipata kinakawia if you be, uh, 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 for, to, to have that thing that come from god there is a time of, uh, uh, to delay kinapimwa for the time of being measured kina, kina, ki, 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 kinatakiwa uwe na imani ya kusubiri Uh, it, it that's the cause that you may have a uh, 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 faith faith of being patient with that thing na usiwe na mashaka ndani ya maisha yako and do not doubt in your life usiwe na wasiwasi do not waver here and there bwana anaishi na watu wanatulia uh, god stays with the people who, who who are stand and who are firm watu wanatuliwa wanasubiri ahadi those people who stand in one place and they wait for the promise sasa na kwa kusubiri kile mungu alikuaidia aliku unaishi aje by being patient with what you are god has promised for you unaishi katika tu utakatifu tu you just wait in the right, uh, just live in the just holiness unaishi katika utakatifu live in holiness unasubiri kile kinatoka kwa mungu and now wait upon what is uh, what, what comes from god unaona nakwambia kitu kimoja do you see i'm telling you one thing bwana yesu hawezi kukujibu umeanguka katika zambi ah uh, jesus christ cannot answer you if you have fallen in sin uh, bwana yesu anakukubalia kukufanyia ndoa jesus christ is say, uh, is saying for the for the marriage anaku anaku anakuaidia kukupa kazi jesus christ is promising you for the for the job Bwana Yesu anakukubalia kukupa mtoto. Jesus Christ is he, he, he allow to give you even a child. Sasa siku za kukubaliwa kupata hicho kitu, but the time to receive that thing. 
Hizo siku sasa hizo. Now those days, those days. Ndio kuna majaribu. The time the time for you to receive between the time for you to pray and the time to receive that time there is a, a there is a trial there is a trial Hiyo majaribu sasa ndio kipimo cha majibu There are trials and those trials in the midst of those trials there is the answer Hakuna jibu hakuna kitu chote unamuomba Mungu kisikosi kuwa na kipimo There is nothing that you pray for God without a measure you must be measured Juni vitu original because there are things that are tested because they must be tested because they are original Kitu kinatoka kwa Yesu kinadumu Everything that come from God they do, they rest for more ba, Biblia inasema baraka ba, baraka zinatoka kwa Mungu hazina majari yote zinaleta utajiri The Bible says that the blessing that come from God they do not have any bad effect but they they brings a blessing to you Mungu ana, 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 ameona ma, 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 machozi yako akaona na maombi umeomba God have seen have seen the tears that you are you, 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 are, you have and the prayers that you are praying ila anakutest the prayers that God is testing you ila anakutest but he is testing you kufika mpaka ujibiwe so uh, to reach uh, the time of being answered mungu anapenda kukupa kitu akupi tu hivi hivi anakutupia god does not just love to give you or to just to, to throw away like that anataka kuona kama unatii but he want to see are you obedience anataka kuona kama uko na imani he want to see Are you uh, do you have faith? Tena atakuona kama uko na imani kama naweza kukikupa. But and he wants to to see if you have faith, faith that I can be given. Anaenda pole pole na wewe. And he goes slowly with you. Najua wengi wamekata tamaa. And in that slowness many people have lost their faith. Wengi wamevunjika nguvu. Many have been broken. Wengine wameanguka katika njia ya wokovu. Other people they have turned back in the way of holiness. Kwa vitu waliwaidia. Because the things that they were promised, hawakuika kusubiri. They did not wait upon Usipo it. Usipoikana kusubiri kwa Mungu. If you don't wait upon it, na uko katika utakatifu. And you are in holiness. Acha nikwambie, piko watu ndani ya kanisa. There are people who are in the church. Kweli Mungu aliwatabiria vitu. It is truly the God promises for Akini them. Wa, wameanguka. But they are foreign. Tena wakingali wanaomba. And they are still praying there. Mungu anawaona. God is seeing them. Yeye, yeah, God, hawezi kukupa hicho kitu. God cannot give them. Mpaka tena utubu and rest they repent paitana utakasiwe and then they be cleansed tena urudie kwa shule usubiri hicho kitu then they will go back to the school school of waiting and school of being patient and they will be given that thing again hiyo test anakutilia tena you must go through back that Acha test urudi nyuma ndugu yangu don't turn back again songa kwa Yesu Kristo you must move with Christ hakuna fasi nyingine utatoa kitu kizuri bila kwa Yesu there is no other chance whereby you can you can get any the, any good thing in Christ kazi nzuri iko kwa Yesu good work in Christ nyumba nzuri iko kwa Yesu a good house is in Christ gari nzuri iko kwa Yesu good car is in Christ mtoto wazuri watoto wazuri wako kwa Yesu good children they are in Christ ndoa nzuri ziko kwa Yesu good marriage is in Christ kila kitu unataka kizuri hapa duniani kiko kwa Yesu everything every good thing that you need it is in Christ kwa nini niko nakwambia hiyo vitu vya duniani viko kwa Yesu why am i telling you that those things of the world they are in Christ ni vitu vinadumu because there are things that are that, that are live rost si vitu kama vile vya kwa shetani ya vidumu there are things that live long bwana sifu and they are not things that are, they are not like the things that the devil gives vumilia tu you must wait vumilia tu you must wait we songa tu you must get moving utafika you will reach lakini hiyo safari uko unapita ndani but that way that you are going through ujue pana pako vitu vitu vingi utakutana navyo you must know that there are many things that you will go through that way kila kitu chochote mnaomba whatever that you are praying today Biblia inasema ukitia ekonia the bible says that mjua mkipata that when you pray believe that you have re- receive it mmekipata and you have receive it tena mtakiona and you will see it ukishaomba and when you pray ujue mbingu imeshakupa be, be, uh, believe that the heaven has given you lakini haujakipata ukikamata alive But it is not that you have you have received it Inasema to, kila to, kitu chote mkitaka to, to grab it or to hold it to hold it uh, in the physical Kila kitu mkiomba when the, the Bible says that what, when we pray ujue mkipata believe that you have received in faith in faith tena utakiona and you will see it Katikati ya kukipata na kukiona hapa So between seeing and be, between uh, having it ndo pako test 
There is a test. Hapo kuna test. There is a test. Bwana sifiwe sana. Praise Jesus. Hapo kuna majaribu. There is a, a tribulation there. Nabii anakuja na kuambia unaenda Marekani. There, there will be a prophet who will come and tell you, oh, you are going to America. Unaolewa. Oh, you will get married. Unaoa. Oh, you, you receive a, a, a marriage partner. Naona umepata kazi. Oh, I see that you have re you have received that job. Naona Mungu anakuletea pesa. Oh, I see that God is opening heaven to you. Kile kitu juu kifike mikononi mwako. And that thing when that thing come to in your in your hand. Utajaribiwa. You you will be tested. Bwana sifiwe sana. You are uh, praise Jesus. Ahadi zote Mungu aliaidia watu wake katika Biblia. Every promise that God promised his people in the word of God. Ukiona Yosefu, if you see Joseph, alijaribiwa kufika kwa ahadi. Joseph was tested to reach into the promise. Ukiona Ayubu, if you see Job, alijaribiwa juu afike kwa ahadi. Job was tested so that he may reach into the promise. Abraham alijaribiwa juu afike kwa ahadi. If you see Abraham, paka litaku kata tama. He was pro, he, 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 he suffered even at that at a time that he, he wanted to lose the hope. Walikimbia na mke wake. And they, they, they ran, ran with, the, uh, with, her, with his wife. Paka kafika kusema kama huyu ni dada yangu juu apate chakula. And reached to a time that he lied and said, "Oh, this is my wife." So that, uh, uh, he said that this is my sister so that he uh, because so that he may get food mahali walikuwa and where he was waliona hakuna jibu they saw that there is no answer naye alikata tamaa baba wetu wa imani he was about to to to, to lose faith Alifika our father of faith akaonekana ni mtu ah uh, he reach a point bwana sifiwe sana praise jesus christ Lazima upimwe. We must be tested. Lakini nyuma baba yetu Abraham akajibiwa. But, but after that the father of faith who is Abraham he was answered. Kusudi ya Daudi awe rais. Uh, for, 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 for David to become a, a king. Aliwindwa sana na Sauli. He was hunted so much by Saul. Kila hadi zote zinapimwa. Every promises they must be tested. Hapana kuya kwa nabii tu anakutabiria unafikiri kesho vitamka vinakuja. Uh, uh, don't just come to prophet and and uh, and be, be prophesied and think that tomorrow because you have been prophesied tomorrow you will receive it. Kuna kile Mungu ndio anapana. There, there there is something that God will be doing kwa saa yake in his own time. Mimi nakutabiria. I am prophesying to you today. Lakini Mungu ndio atakujibu. But it is God who will, who will give it to you. Tena atakujibu kupitia imani yako. And God will uh, will fulfill it or you will receive it through your own faith. Nataka kukuambia Yesu anaishi ndani ya watu. I want to tell you that God lives inside his people. Yesu anaishi ndani ya watu leo. God lives inside his people. Biblia inasema Paulo akasema si mimi inaenda ni Yesu anatembea ndani mwangu. And Paul said that it is not me that I go, it is not me that I walk, but it is Jesus who who walks inside me. Ule mama aliamini akakuja nyumbani niliwambia. And, that, and the woman uh, who, who, uh, who believed and she came in the house. Alikuwa na miaka 12 ana mtoto. And she was about 12 years without, Ile safari a, alifanya, without a child. Ile safari alifanya kuya ni muombeye. And that woman who came and I uh, and to, for me to pray for her. Akuamini mimi. She did not believe me. Aliamini kile kiko ndani mwangu. She just believed what was in me. Aliamini Yesu kiko ndani mwangu. She believed Jesus Christ that was in me. Akasema ule mtu anawezekani kona Mungu. And she said ah, that man uh, it is possible that he have God. Nikienda kiniombea nitapata nta, mtoto. And when I go when, when when he pray for me I believe that I will get a child. Akakuja na mimi nikatia imani. And she come she Aka, came and akafanikiwa. She came and she had the faith and I also had faith and she, she uh, it was proved upon her. Huyu Yesu anaishi ndani mwetu. That Jesus Christ that is living upon us. Ndio anafanya kazi. He is the one that is doing the work. Bwana asifiwe sana. Haleluya. Kila kitu chote anapana. Everything that we do, he is planning. Ongeza imani bila mashaka. You must you must, yeah, you must put you must, you must put on your faith. Ongeza imani. You must add your faith. Ongeza imani. Add your faith. Kama uta pata hicho kitu like you will be, you will have that usirudi nyuma na mashaka don't turn back with the kids ukirudi nyuma atakufurahia the bible says that when you you go back god will not be pleased sisi wa kristo lazima tupokee vitu vinapita kwa vita we christian we must we must receive things things that are coming for, uh, out of the many troubles and many battles ndio maana watu wengi wataki njia ya uokovu that is why many people they don't want this way of uh, of, holy, of of uh, salvation na kingine wa, kitu wanakimbia ni hizo testi and, so, yes. and and many people they run away from the test those tests and trials of jesus siku sudi siku sema mungu anatuchukia it is not to say that jesus christ hate us na walio tutangulia walipitia kwa test. No, they that also were ahead of us, they passed through those testing. Ulishauliza 
Pastor wako maisha alipitia jua kuwe na hiyo kanisa kubwa. Did you do, do, do you did you ask or do you ask that man of God what he passed through for him for you to see that church that he has? Tena kizuri cha Yesu. And, and, and the good thing that you have for God. Utapita kwa hiyo test. You will hear that you will go through a uh, trouble. Kile chenye ulimwomba Mungu. Whatever that you will ask God. Si mwanadamu akudanganye. It is not uh, it is not uh, God is not a man that you should write. Kimaliza hiyo shule tu ya test. If you finish if you finish that school, that school of trial. Utajibiwa. God will answer you. Tena kizuri. And it is uh, something that is good. Atakupa hii ya dunia. He will give you the things of this world. Na atakupa uzima wa milele. And he will also give you the eternal kingdom of God. Yesu hawezi kukupa kitu cha dunia bila ukoki. Uh, Jesus Christ cannot give you the things of the world, the riches of the world without you first repenting of your uh, of your sin and even be, uh, being born again. Hawezi kukupa kitu cha kudunia bila kujaribu. And he cannot give you the, the, the riches of the world without first being tested. Jua anajua kitu atakupa ni original because he know the things that he give you he will give you a genuine thing a genuine blessing lazima ukitumikie and that means you must work it for it lazima utoe gharama that means you, ma- you must count the cost bwana asifiwe sana praise jesus gharama ya kwanza ni kumpa hiyo roho ah uh, the first uh, the first price is to give yourself to god hiyo roho aiongoze you are hard to you are hard for you are hard to be read by god mbinguni and for you to be carried to heaven mingine vyote vitakufata and all other things will follow you kuna kuna kitu watu wajafunuliwa waja kwa Yesu there are things that many people has not been revealed by Jesus yeye ndo anajua kipimo mahali atakupea nyumba it is Jesus Christ who know where he will give you the house hiyo uko na muomba the house that you pray au hiyo mke au hiyo watoto au vitu vya dunia or that thing or that wife or that uh, thing that you are asking Anakupa anapima kipimo cha wokovu kwanza. When God is giving you, he test he test fast how is your salvation? He test the measure of your faith, the measure of your salvation. Wokovu wako kama naona umejaa pa. And if he see that your salvation is full, kagari kanakuja. Ah God gives you the car. Kaka, mwanamke anakuja. God gives you the your wife, the wife. Mwanaume anakuja. God gives you the your husband. Watoto wanakuja. God gives you your child. Safari za kwenda nje zinakuja. God gives you the journey where you are wanted to go. Pesa zinakuja. Uh, the money will come. Yesu hawezi kukupa vitu vya dunia kama hajakuandika katika kitabu cha uzima. But Jesus Christ cannot give you the riches of heaven if he, you have not been written first in the book of life. Acha niwaambie wa Kristo. Uh, let me tell you first. Wale wote wanapita kwa trabu. Or of you that you are passing through trouble. Asa, asa, o, anapita kwa kusubiri maadi mingi sana. You you that you are passing through because you are waiting many promises of God. Kupata kitu kinatoka kwa Mungu. Uh, to, to, to receive that thing that come from God. Lazima ulipe gharama. You must count the cost. Lazima ulipe gharama. You must count the cost. Na hizo gharama and those cost ni Yesu anazikwambia. It is God who is telling you. Kuna wale anaomba gharama ya roho tu. Uh, there, there, there is those that are praying for the gift of the holy spirit kuna wale wanaoomba gharama ya utoaji there is those that are, are praying for the gift of, of charity piko watu wanatoa wanafanikiwa kwa mungu because there are people who, 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 who gives and they prosper through that piko na wale wanafanikiwa and there are they that uh, prosper alimpa roho yesu because they give their heart to jesus yesu anashangaa jesus christ is wondering kisi huyo mtu ananipa roho yake uh, how how god is giving you the heart ana unaanza kuona vitu vinakuya vya mafanikio and god will, be, will start giving you everything hapa dunia huwezi kupata vitu vya ukweli bila kuwa ndani ya yesu in this world god cannot give you he cannot give you anything without first being born again or being in christ nasema hapa duniani he is saying that in this world ni watu wachache wa, walipata vitu vya kweli uh, only v- v- very few people who receive the true thing wenye waokoki They that have not repented. Haya matajiri wengi. Are many rich people. Ni wachache sana walipata vitu vya kweli. There are very few that have genuine thing. Ukisikia Mkristo anakuambia nime, nimejenga nyumba. If you hear a Christian telling you that I have built a house. Uende uchunguze. You will go and examine. Uende uchunguze. You go and examine. Hizo pesa ni za kweli. Those money are they le- genuine? Kama ameshin, amepata nyumba Mkristo duniani. If a Christian have found a house in this world. Wako Mkristo watajiri. 
You know there are Christian who are rich. Lakini niko nazungumza kila siku na sema nazungumza na ule Mkristo anaenda mbinguni. But every time I say I am speaking to those that I want to see the kingdom of God. Ukiona Mkristo alipata nyumba pa duniani ameokoka iko na Roho Mtakatifu. If you want if you see a Christian who have who have who have a house here in this world and who have the Holy Spirit. Huyo Mkristo ni mzima. That Christian is blessed. Amefika fasi ya ajabu. That Christian has reached that point. Ukiona Mkristo yuko na mabilioni. If you see a clear Christian having billions. Huyo ameandikwa katika kitabu cha uzima. I know that he is written in the book of life. Huyo ni Mkristo wa maajabu sana. And he is a Christian who, who is blessed is blessed by God. Ukiona Mkristo anapata kazi bila kusema ongo, bila ku kutoa corruption. If you see that a Christian who have received that thing who have received that work without corrupting without speaking lying without doing all those things know Uyo, that that is amazing Uyo, this is a present Christian ukiona mkristo mkristo if you see that Christian anaolewa bila kuzini that Christian has 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 been married or has 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 gotten a, a married a a, 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 a house without uh, uh, fornication huyo mkristo ameshinda know that that christian has overcome ukiona mkristo if you see a christian anaishi na bibi na bwana yake miaka na miaka hawapigani hawatukanani au kuna shida if you see a christian living with uh, with with, with her, 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 his wife uh, many years without fighting know that that uh, 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 a christian is blessed au a kristo ni wasima know that those christian they Hii are full. Ya mbingu, they are full unaona wa kristo wengi hawana vitu mali hatuna mali hatuna ni kwa nini in this in, in, in this journey you see that uh, many they do not have something sio kusema mungu anashindwa kutubariki it is not to say that god is unable to bless us kuna fasi tunapasha kufika tume tumekufa kidunia but there is a, a, a place there is a, a stage whereby we are supposed to reach whereby we must die die the rich die die the, the things of the, the world ulisha shinda pesa if you overcome money ulisha shinda usharati if you overcome uh, the fornication ulisha shinda heshima if you overcome the honor and the, the pride ni kusema Mungu anataka kututest If that is to say that God want to test you. Piko okovu mbili. There are two salvation. Ya umaskini. Ah uh, for the for for, for, uh, for for one for the for the poverty. Uko maskini una pesa una kitu chochote unazarauliwa. And one ah uh, again. Hauna kitu. You don't have something. Hauna pesa. Ah uh, you don't have money. Lakini haunungunik and you are you are not uh, you are you are not comp, uh, complaining au ibi you are not stealing unaishi kwa kutegemea yesu you, you are living with uh, uh, with just uh, uh, waiting upon god au semi wongo you don't speak lie lakini uko maskini unaishi but you are just poor you are not poor like the other but you are you are not like the rich but you are you are, you are not uh, lying Unaishi maisha utakatifu but you are living a holy life kushinda hicho kipindi to the start of that time watu kanisani leo many christian in the church hicho kipindi cha cha, cha shida cha umaskini at that time or at that stage of poverty kiliwapiga chini defeated them wengi wameanguka many people were defeated by that stage of poverty wameanguka kwa usharati juu apate maisha and they fell in immorality so that Wana they may, they may have money and many women they fell uh, into sexual sin so that they may have money wameanguka katika kusema ongo apate maisha uh, they they fell tena kitu kinashangaza and the thing the things that are is uh, shocking me wanakusanyika tena and they are gathering, gathering again tena wanaendelea kusema ongo waishi and they continue to, say, uh, to, to continue like that tena wanaendelea kusema kufa, ku, kujitoa kwa, kwa wanaume wafanye uzinifu wapate maisha and they continue to give themselves even in, in in men so that they may have something to eat and to drink tena wanaendelea ku, 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 kuja kanisani tu and the same same people they also continue going to the church wanaikaa ndani ya makanisa bila kutoku ndoa zao walinyanyua watoto wa watu wanawake bila kutoa mali bila kufanya marriage 
and some of them they are even co they continue even to the church without even uh, 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 giving giving uh, paying dowry dowry because some of them they just took uh, daughters of people daughters of, of men without paying a price what wako makanisani tu many are even the church hawaambiliwi kweli they are not being told the truth kuna mapasta na wako hivyo because there are even pastors who are like them wanadumu tu katika zambi uh, they just survive there in the in the in sin tena wanaheshimiwa and then they are just even honored there wanaitwa majina makubwa they are called a great name juu ya maisha because of their of their life maisha watu wengi uh, the life to people of god walishindwa wali kikombe cha maisha uh, they did not overcome overcoming uh, that cup of life hii maisha unaona ya kupata pesa za nyumba kula kutafutia watoto masomo zimewangusha waamini we, wengi sana this life that you see that uh, of struggling struggling to live struggling with uh, with the life struggling to get money uh, that life has uh, foreign many children of god ukienda kuchunguza kanisa zote if you go to examine to such uh, the many churches ni wachache wanaishi katika maisha ya ukweli very few are living in the truth wengi wanaishi katika maisha ya zambi. Many are living in lie, in lie. Ukifanya ta test unauliza kila mtu ndani ya kanisa. If you, if you do a test and and ask some people. Atakwambia ile nyumba nimeuza juu ya hivi. They will tell you that that house I sold that house because of this. Kale kagari nimekauza juu ya hii. They tell you oh that car I I sold it because of this. Mimi nimepata kazi juu ya hivi. Me I have I, I, I received that job because of this. Maisha yangu mimi naishi juu ya hivi. You see my life I survive because of this and this. Ule mama ni mmdanganya kama mimi babangu na mamangu wamekufa niko yatima ndio maana ananisaidia. And they will tell you oh I have read that man I have read that, um, that that man that I am an orphan that why she is I am receiving money. Tena babake na mamake wako. And his mother and the father is there. Laana tuko ndani ya kanisa. Uh, many cases are the, in the church watu wengi wanajifanya wayatima many people are pretending to be orphan jua wazungu wanasaidia wayatima be, because they know that uh, white people they help the orphans sasa hiyo hiyo msada wa yatima ikija and now that support of the orphans come I, w, w, wanatia namba za watu watoto wako na wa, wa baba zao na mama zao and now the, when that support come they are uh, they give it to, to their children wanasema ni ma, wanasema ni mayatima and they say oh these are our uh, the orphans tunaishi kwa ongo tu people are living today in lie na wale wanaomba misaada wanaishi kwa ongo tu and even they that are, are praying for support many they are living for in lie watu walitupa imani kamili because many people they lost hope they lost their faith hawana imani kama Mungu anaweza kuwapitishia njia ya ukweli they don't have faith that Jesus Christ can pass through can make them to pass through that way of truth kuna watu walinambia there are people who told me anaambia hapa duniani hawezi ku, ku, kuishi kwa ukweli that in this world People cannot live without uh, uh, in a truth. Wanaingia katika Biblia sasa hivi nataka kuambia wakristo wengi. Uh, they they, are, they enter even to the word of God. Wanaenda kutafuta maandiko ya kujifunika. And they, 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 they gather they gather themselves after some some scriptures of hiding their sin. Unaambia mbona unasema ongo? And you ask them, "Oh, why are you saying why are you why do you speak lie?" Ni unaishi kwa uongo. Why are you, do you do you live in lie? Ah uh, mbona Abraham na yeye sema ongo? They will tell you, "Oh, look even abraham lied unaona kitu anatembea nacho you see the, you see what they, they 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 work with they are working with the scripture lying and hiding in the, inside the scripture what is sin do njia wokovu they they they, they were over, they they were defeated in the way of faith wanakuja kwa maandiko and they come to the scripture again ukiona anafanya dhambi ukimkemea and when you see him uh, sinning and when you rebuke him anapita nakupa mfano wa mtu mwingine katika biblia oh he come with another example with a man who is in the bible wewe unakunya pombe hizi siku they tell you oh you do you drink do you drink beer in this hour e mbona timotheo alikunya kapombe kadogo and they say paulo uh, 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 kunya kapombe kadogo and they will say yes because ah you see even paul he told the team of the to drink a little you see you see they kitu, mention you where there is wine kitu nataka kukwambia what i want to tell you katika umaskini that in poverty wengi wa kristo walipita kwenye test many christian who pass through that that test wameshinda sahi they have they have overcome pana kwa nyingine test ya utajiri and there is another another test which comes the test of of riches 
Mungu anakuja kutubariki. And God comes to bless you now. Wewe na mimi. Me and you. Kitu kinaitwa pesa. Something that is called money. Ukisoma Isaya 23:18. If you read the, the, the word of Isaya. Isaya 23:18. 23:29. 28. 28. Isaya. 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 Inasema huyo utajiri. Uh, the Bible says that that rich na na, na biashara and that uh, 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 that rich and that work. Mungu anakuja kuileta kanisani. God is coming to bring it into you. Mumikono yake. In and he's bring it in your hand. Kusudi apatie wale wako mbele za Mungu and so that he may give those that are in Christ. Wakule washibe and they will eat and drink wa vale nguo za kifahari and they will even dress well huyo ni nabii Isaia tabiri neno that is a, uh, the prophet Isaiah who prophesied that thing kanisa la kristo limepita katika trabu ya maisha the many churches or, or the, the church of god all of the people of god they have passed through many sufferings and many tests of the life wengi wameshindwa lakini wengine wameshinda wame ah uh, men uh, there are many who have overcome and there are many who have not overcome tunaingia sasa kufanikiwa mafanikio ya dunia but wait we are entering another process another process another stage another another test a test of the riches tuligundua siri hapo and now we we, we 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 discover a secret there katika utajiri that there in the sec, in the riches watu wengi wameanguka ah many people many people they fall they fall watu they, they have fallen na na mitume na ma, na maskofu na mapasta na watu wengi sana ni mm. viongozi mpaka leo wa makanisa kitu kimewaangusha nataka kuambia ni jibu la mafanikio many people many people today the pastors the men of god the bishop and many rich people and many rich christian who have fallen they have fallen now in the stage of riches yale mafundisho na maandiko walikuwa walikuwa pamoja nayo wakati wa jangwa uh, the, the teaching that they had when they were in the suffer, in the wilderness ma, ma mafundisho haya tuko tunawahubiri na Simon walikuwa nayo the, the teaching the, the early teachings they had them na tukiongea nao na kuambia nao waliahubiri and when you speak to, with them they will tell you yes we 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 pray, we, we, re, we had it wanakuambia mwe watoto na sisi tulipitiaga hapo and they will tell you oh even us we use to to pass through that, uh, that sasa kitu kinanishangaza kwa nini ma, 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 maneno ya Mungu inabadilika watu wakifika kwa mafanikio but what shock me is why why do, do they change do they do men change when they go to that level of riches wa kristu wengi walifanikiwa many christian who was who who, who, who prospered ni wadogo sana waliendelea safari ya mbingu. Only very few they they continue only very few continued in the way of heaven. Lakini ninataka kukuambia leo wewe mtu wa Mungu. But I want to tell you today kwa na macho ya kiroho leo. You must have spiritual eyes. Hii injili tunakuhubiri. The gospel that we preach to you. Wakati wa kufanikiwa nao umefika. That the time to to prosper has come. Lakini uwe macho usitupe wokovu. But you must be careful so that you may not lose your salvation. Narudi tena kukuambia wakati wa kufanikiwa unafika. I am telling you again that the time to prosper has come. Lakini usiachi wokovu. But when that come with when that when that riches will come Be, uh, be, be careful rest you 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 uh, uh, rest you, 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 you rest you fall baraka zinatuma wengi wananguka ndugu yangu uh, many blessing many blessing or many blessing many riches are uh, the result on on the downfall of many kuna rafiki zangu wako mainchi za umarekani canada europa they are my friends and many friends that are in other countries of abroad walikuwa naomba mpaka mbingu inafunguka those people they were praying until heaven open walikuwa naubiri injili they were preaching the gospel kabisa injili kweli ya yeah. they were really preaching the true gospel sawa walitoka tu Afrika wanafika huko but when they, 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 they when they, they, they went when they went to those abroad countries or foreign countries ukiuliza habari zao when you ask about them today anakuambia wokovu uko tu Afrika bwana ah they tell them uh, you will hear them telling you that uh, salvation is only in Africa hiyo mambo ya kuomba iko huko Afrika bwana hapa tumefika that thing of fasting that thing of praying ah is it in Africa here we we are, we we are we, we rested here we rested in our, in those ca- in this country we have rested na ndio maana Mungu aliwaambia watu mu Deuteronom and that is why God told the people in the book of Deuteronomy akasema mkisha fika katika ile nchi that when you reach in that country mkisha kula mnashiba when you eat and drink 
Mkisha jenga manyumba. When you build houses, mkipata utajiri. When you have riches, msinisahau mimi Mungu. Do not forget God. Mimi Mungu ni wewe watoa katika nje ya jamii. That I am the same God that brought you out of the wilderness. Hata Mungu akubebe umarekani usibadiliki. Even when God carry you to America, don't change. Usiache ukovu bwana. Do not forsake salvation. Hata Mungu akubebe Uchina, hata ukubebe Canada, Australia, hata upate manyumba na magari. Even, Usiache ukovu bwana. Even if you God carry you to Australia, even if God carry you to, the, to that country that you are, and even if God give you uh, car, houses, don't don't uh, don't exchange your God. Hata Mungu akupe utajiri wa aje, usiache ukovu. Even if you have been given riches, do not uh, forsake salvation. Bwana asifiwe sana. Praise Jesus. Hiyo ndio imani. That is what we call faith. Usiache ukovu. Don't abandon faith. Mungu anasema msiniache. Don't abandon your God. Hata mkiona vitu vya aje. Even if you saw those things that Dugu how yangu riches, unataka kusafiri. You brother you who want to go. Wewe hujapata neema ya kwenda huko kwa you who have you you are waiting to go uh, to, to to receive that grace to go we even to the foreign country. You sister, you are waiting for that marriage. Wewe unasubiri kazi nzuri au yaipata? You are waiting for that job. Kila mtu anasubiri kitu chake. If you are if you are, if you are waiting everybody is waiting for something. Pasiwe kitu utapata kitakutoa katika mapenzi ya Mungu. When that thing will come, let there be nothing which will come to separate you from the for, from the love of Christ. Kila kitu Paulo alikisema. Everything that Paulo said. Kutokea kwa, kwa shida na kutokea kwa mafanikio. Even if the, the, that there will be uh, uh, in, the, in the time of in the time of poverty and in the time of riches. Wewe mwenye uko katika dhiki katika majaribu au hujafanikiwa. That you may be in the trouble and you are not, you have not become successful. Pas, pasiwe kitu kitakutoa kwa Yesu. When that successful let there be nothing which will separate you from Christ. Wewe uko pamoja na na Mungu you that are with Christ pasiwe kitu kitakutoa katika mapenzi ya Mungu let there be nothing that will come to separate you from Christ pasiwe kitu kitakutenganisha na mapenzi ya Mungu let there be nothing that will separate you from the will of God baki ndani ya Yesu mpaka you must remain mishu. in Jesus till the end hata uone magari na manyumba na mapesa usibadiliki even if you see large cars and when you see uh, 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 houses and when you see land and Paul, many money do not change Paul alikuwa anaona yote kama ni mavi ya ngombe Paul said that he used to see all those things as if they are just rubbish before uh, be, 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 before him na kuuliza i am asking you kitu gani utaenda nacho mbinguni what is that thing that will carry you with in heaven ukifa utaenda na nini when you die what is that that you can be, be, be able to carry kitu gani kinazidi okovu nguvu what is that that is more powerful than salvation? Hakuna kitu kinazidi ukovu samani. There is no there is nothing that uh, uh, that exceed salvation. Kitu Mungu alitupa kizuri ndani ya dunia ni ukovu. What Jesus Christ give, gave us better. It is only salvation. Zote ni kama kukimbilia nyuma ya pepo. Any other things or to run for any other things it is like running running for weed running to catch the weed. Nasema niko na uzungumza na msafiri wa mbingu. I am speaking to you you who is a pilgrim of going to heaven. Mungu akikupa gari ni sawa. When God give you car it is where? Mungu akikupa nyumba ni sawa. When God give you that house it is where? Mungu akukufanya bilionea ni sawa. When God made you a billionaire it is where? Hizo ni njia za Mungu kweli. Ja, that, that are the way of God. Lakini usiachi ukovu. But do not lose your salvation. Hakuna kitu kinazidia samani ukovu hapa chini ya jua. There is nothing that is greater greater than salvation under the sun. Watoto wasikukui kikwazo cha kumwacha Mungu. Even children let them not be are the reason for you to stop serving God. Bibi yako asiwe mtu wa kutu unamwacha Mungu even your wife let him let her not become the reason for you to Wana stop serving God asiwe mtu ataku, atatuma unawacha Mungu even your husband let him be not somebody to separate you from Christ kazi yako ulipata isitume unamwacha Mungu your work your business that you have let it not become a reason for you to forsake God kitu chote kitatuma ukiona kina, kinatuma una ma, mapenzi ya wewe na Mungu inapotea ina, ina usikikamati anything if anything you see that that thing that you will receive that that thing will will we, we separate you from Jesus if you see that that thing will separate you from God don't receive it then usigusi 
Don't touch it then. Don't even touch it. Don't even grab it. You must go through things and overcome things. You must be above everything and uh, be uh, 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 and uh, be in authority of everything that come over Kitu you. Cha kisikutawali ujuu poteze mungu. Let nothing of the world rule over you. Ujue pesa ziki kutawala unapotea. If you if money rule over you you will get lost. Usinifu kikutawala unapotea. If sexual sin or uh, exceed you or rule over you you will get lost. Kazi za dunia ziki kutawala unapotea. If the business and the work of the world uh, rule over you you will be you will get lost. Biblia inasema wakati aliumba Adam na Eva aliambia nendeni huko mkatawale kila kitu The Bible says that when he created Adam and Eve they were told that go and and rule everything Kitu gani kinatuma unatawaliwa duniani mwana wa Mungu Why why what is that things that uh, rule over you in this world Kitu gani kinatuma unatawaliwa What is that why is the things of this world they are ruling over you Sisi ni wafalme We are we are kings Sisi ni wafalme We are kings kwa kuwa baba yetu ni mfalme Because yesu. our father also is a king. Tunapaswa kutawala kila kitu hapa. So we need to be rulers, rulers. Rulers of everything here in this world. Mwili usikutawali. Let your body not rule over you. Utawale. But rule your body. Unapita pale madukani that when you go through that street, mwili unakwambia and the body tells you, ni viki kale ka kitu. Oh, let me go and wear that thing. Kale kasuruari karefu. Oh, I want to go I, I want to buy that uh, that, 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 that mini skirt. Huza ko ni vike. I want Kata. to wear it. You, you must say no, you must resist, you must over uh, rule over it and say no, I will not wear th- such thing. Mwili ukikwambia uzini kataa. When the, your flesh will tell you, oh, I want to go and to do uh, fornication. Mwili ukikwambia kunya pombe, kataa. You must resist when the body tells you that no I want to go to dr- uh, to drink beer you must resist Mwili kukambia wende kwa bao kataa when your body tells you to go to the club you must resist Mungu mwili ukikwambia huwa mtu kataa when your body tells you ah uh, ah uh, uh, kill this man you must resist Mwili usikuongozi Let your f- let do not be read by your flesh. Acha tuongozewe na roho. Let us be read in by the spirit. Tupate kufanya mapenzi ya Mungu. So that we may do the will of God. Wale wanaongozewa na mwili, they that are led by are ruled by, by by the flesh, ni maadui wa Mungu. They are enemies of Christ. Wale wanaongozewa na mwili wote. And even they that are are ruled by the flesh, they Ma- are enemies of God. Wale ni maadui wa Mungu. They are enemy of God. Wale wanaongozewa na roho, but they that are ruled by the spirit, ndio wana wa Mungu. They are the children of Acharo, God. Acharo wa Mungu atuongoze. Let the Holy Spirit of God rule. Tuwe na imani mpaka tufike mbinguni. Let us have really faith, great tu, faith until we, we reach to heaven. Tuwe na imani mpaka tutafika mbinguni. Let us have re- faith, faith until we enter heaven. Imani ni kuamini neno. Faith is to believe the scripture. Imani ni kuamini neno. Faith it is to believe the scripture the word. Imani ni kuamini neno la Mungu. Faith is to believe the word of God. Anasema mtu ananipenda. The Bible says, mtu ananipenda. If anybody anybody that loves me, aishimie neno langu. He must honor my love, my, my word. Na baba atampenda. And the word and go and my father will love him. Tutakuja mimi na baba tuishi naye. And we shall come me and father and to live inside him. Hapa ndio kuna siri. Here is where the secret is. Hapa hili neno ndilo litakusaidia ndani ya maisha. This word is where the word of uh, God will help you over your life. Bwana asifiwe sana. Praise Jesus. Amini neno. Believe the word. Ingia ndani ya neno. Enter through the word. Tia neno katika matendo. Practice the word. Utaona mkono wa Mungu. And you see the, the, the hand of God. Bwana wabariki sana. God bless you so much. Nashukuru sana Mungu awabariki. I praise Jesus and I thank God so much. God bless you. Kila mtu alisikia neno wabarikiwe. Everybody that have risen to the gospel to the word of God be blessed. Mungu amuinue and may God raise you. Maisha yako yabadilike. May you are uh, may, may your life change. Kile unakosa ukipate kwa jina la Yesu. May what you are lacking may the Lord provide you. Pasipiti miezi miwili haujaona mkono wa Mungu kupitia hii neno. That that that, that That, uh, that it will not pass like uh, month uh, like month without seeing the Kila hand mtu alisikia hii neno whoever and whoever will hear the word of God Uanze kuona majibu kwako you will start seeing Kama ni pepo zitoke kwa jina la Yesu If there are demonic spirit they will free in the name of Jesus Kama uzai uzai kwa jina la Yesu And if you are not giving birth you will give birth in Jesus name Kama hujaolewa olewa kwa jina la Yesu If you will you if you have not get, uh, gotten a, a marriage partner or 
or you have not in marriage you will marry kama hujaoa hoa kwa jina la Yesu and if you don't have a, a, a wife you will get him ha kama hujana auna kazi pe pata kazi kwa jina la Yesu if you don't have work you will you will get that work in Jesus name bwana sifiwe sana praise the name of Jesus kanisa la Mungu the church of Jesus Christ kuna kuja nguvu There is coming a power. Zilikuwa pamoja na Yesu pamoja na Peter. The power that was with the, with, with Jesus Christ and with the, with Peter. Hizo nguvu zitapewa watumishi wa Mungu wamekaa katika utakatifu. Those powers will be given the men of God the women of God that are living in righteousness holiness. Watumishi wa Mungu wale wameshinda mwili duniani. Those people of God who have overcome the world. Kuna kuja nguvu. There is coming power. Ni zile Yesu alikuwa nazo na Pita. The power that God was was with and his apostles. Tunazita power of now. We are calling them the power of the age to age. Ni hapo hapo kitu kinakuwa. The power the instant power. The power that something will be done right there instantly. Usome Biblia nzima. Read the word of God the whole Bible. Kila mtu Yesu alikuwa anaombea hapo hapo. All people that Jesus Christ was praying for. Hapo hapo anapona. Instantly they were receiving and they were receiving healing. Apo apo anapona. They were receiving hearing instantly. Hiyo ndio nguvu Mungu anaandaa. That is what power is coming. Mungu anataka kupatia kanisa lake. And that power God want to give that power of instant power. Sio kila mtu atakuwa nazo. It is not all people who will receive those power. Wale waliishi katika utakatifu. Only they that will live in holiness righteousness. Wale ndio wanakuja kupata hizo nguvu. They are they that will receive those powers. Najua kanisa la Mungu. I know the the, the church of Christ. Hizo nguvu hawaamini kama ziko. Those power supernatural powers. Some people they don't believe. Na ni Mungu alifanya wasijui kama ziko juu atapatia Siki la mtu atazipewa. And it is God who have made them like because they know that it is not for all people who will be given that thing. Si tumeshafunuliwa, but we that have been revealed. Nataka kumpatia advice yule anataka kutumika na Yesu hizi siku za mwisho. I want to give you even you you want to be used by God in this end time days. Ishi katika utakatifu. You must live in holiness. Ishi katika utakatifu. You must live in holiness. Kuna nguvu zinakuja. There are powers that are coming. Zitashukia kanisa la Mungu. And those power will descend upon the church of Christ. Ni, ni nguvu za uamsho. There are powers of revival. Zitashindikiza zitashindikiza neno la miuji, neno la toba. They will work well with the word of God of repentance. Watu watahubiri toba wote and all people will start proclaiming repentance. Watakuwa na nguvu zingine za miujiza and they will do have great powers great powers of our sign and wonders kama unanisikia leo if you are hearing me today na wewe kama umeitwa kuhubiri injili takatifu and you if you have been called to preach the holy gospel ujue unatarishiwa nguvu za ajabu know that you are being prepared for powers power 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 powers of god utaona maajabu ya mungu you will see the supernatural powers of god ukae katika utakatifu just stay in the holiness and righteousness acha tuombe mungu let us pray in jesus name baba katika jina la yesu christ na tushukuru in the name of jesus christ we thank you wewe ni mungu baba mtakatifu you are god almighty father wewe ni mwenye nguvu na uwezo wote yesu you are able o lord uko juu ya kila utawala wote you are everything o lord jesus uko juu ya mamlaka yote duniani you are above every powers na ma ukifunga kuna yule anafungua and whatever that you cross nobody can open na mahali ukifungua kuna yule anafunga wherever you open nobody can cross wewe ndio una uwezo Yesu kwa kila kitu chote duniani you have the power of everything in the world na mbinguni and in the earth hata kuzimu hakuna mtu anakuweza in heaven and earth nobody can overcome you wewe ni Mungu mwenye nguvu Yesu Kristo you are the god that is powerful tunashukuru kutupatia neno lako tulitangaze we thank you because of giving us the word tunaomba Yesu Kristo haleluya we pray the lord jesus christ wale wote walipokea neno lako that all people who have received the word bwana wapate majibu lord that they may receive the, the answer today fanya ishara kupitia neno tumehubiri Let there be a miracle a sign through the word that have been preached. Ishindikize leo neno tumehubiri. Let the message and the gospel that have been preached. Bwana Let Yesu. the Father wonders follow it. Bwana Yesu Kristo. Oh Lord Jesus. Wale wote wamesikia hii neno. All those who have risen to the word of God. Wabariki. Bless them. Wale wote wanabariki imini si ya ukweli wa mbingu. All those who have who, who receives the word of God of the gospel. Wabariki. Bless them. Ule wote ananyosha mikono yake kutubariki umbariki. All the oh God that blesses even the men of God the, the, the work of God bless them. Baba tunasema hizi 
Injili zifike dunia nzima. We declare Jehovah that let this gospel go to the whole world. Kila mtu alipata hiyo injili, all people of oh God that have received the word of God. Amsukumie mwenzake. Oh Lord that they may be become a a a a a, a, a for, for, for forwarding the word of God. Shindikize ile neno Yesu. Let them begin to share Lim. and uh, be, begin to to share that word in Jesus name. Tunakushukuru Mungu. We thank you Lord. Uwe nasi katika hii dunia. That you may be with us in this earth. Utuweze Yesha kusema maneno yako. Oh God help us to say your word. Tunaombea kanisa la Yesu. We pray for the church of Jesus. Mali iko dunia nzima. Wherever it is in the church, in the whole world. Iwe na nguvu Bwana nyakati kama hizi. That the church will have power in these days. Uwezeshe watumishi wako. That the, you enable the servants of God. Watembelee katika utakatifu. That they may go through the holiness also. Tunaomba Yesu Kristo. We pray the Lord Jesus. Wale wa kuchagua Bwana. They that you have uh, uh, chosen. Waingie katika zingine kazi kwa jina la Yesu. Lord that they may enter in your work O God. Tunataka watumishi wako Yesu. We pray for our holy servants. Watafanya uamsho. This is something that we do the revival. Wale wako umechagua waingize katika kazi. You are people whom you have chosen. Lord, may they go to the work. Walinde mitego ya shetani. May you protect them from the evil one. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. In the name of Jesus. Wa Kristo wafungue macho. The Christian they may open their eyes. Waanze kutafuta mahali kuna watumishi wa ukweli. That they may begin to look where the truth is. Ulisema Malaki 3:18. You said in the book of Malaki 3:18. Ukasema ndio watarudi watanza kuona watakatifu na wenye zambi. that they shall begin to know the, the righteous and even the, the wicked one na wale wanakutumikia na wale wakutumikia and they shall see again a difference between they that serve you and they that do not serve you ukifungua kanisa yesu lord when you open the church ufungue zile kanisa za utakatifu open a, open those churches of righteousness na wakristo wafungulie macho waone watumishi wa Mungu wa kweli open all christians that they may see now the true men of god wali wataenda kukuabudu na kukusifu where now they will go to serve you and to praise you kwa ukweli na kiroho in truth and spirit mali watatoa sadaka zao na fungo la kumi mahali piko ukweli where they will now go and offer mali wao in the truth mali unaikaa yesu where you reside ndio tunataka uelekeze watu waingie that is where we want you lord you may show your people to go to fellowship tunavunja kupoteza waamini tena ah uh, we break down the spirit of deception of reading a stray people tunavunja zile dini za shetani we break down those religious spirits zisiwe na nguvu kupenya hapo yesu that they may not have power over it washindo ikanda ya manyumba yao wahubiriwe let them be overcome even let them oh god be remain in their house and they be in the yesu kristo nazareth in the name of jesus kila mtu atalisikia hii neno bwana everybody that receive the word Tangu tulianza naye Yesu. Even as we started Jehovah. Tunaomba katika damu ya Yesu Kristo. Maite Father you declare the blood of Jesus. Afanikiwe na alindwe. That you may protect them and guard them. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kuamini. In the name of Jesus Christ we do pray and even believe. Amen. 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 Thank you Jesus. 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 It is, is well in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says that whatever that you pray Believe it in your heart that you have received Amen. and it shall be done. Amen. So, I believe that Honestly. whatever that I'm, I was lacking, whatever that I was praying, it is done and I receive it. Also believe your part. Believe your part that whatever that you are you are you are lacking, whatever that you are you are praying for, you have just received it. and just now you are with, you are in the testing that after this testing after this time after this certain time will be will be over i will surely receive after my fulfillment after my my fulfillment after my maturity after i overcome the world after i overcome the things of the world after i overcome the sin i will receive that thing that god has promised hallelujah amen the bible says that god is not a liar that he should lie god is not a man that he should lie what he speak he fulfill and he say that all things are possible to they that believe why because the same christ that used to heal the same christ that used to give the children the same christ that used to transform people and to change the life of people the same jesus is the same today jesus Amen. he say i am the same yesterday today and forever god has not changed god has not changed Amen. the generation can change can keep on going but 
Our God has not changed. Amen. The God that we are serving, the God of Abraham, the God of Israel, the creator of the earth, Jesus Christ has not changed. And the Bible says that my word shall not return to me void. My, my word that I send shall not return to me empty. The word of God will fulfill. Hallelujah. Jesus, and the word of God says that what I say shall be done. Amen. It shall not delay. It shall Amen. come to pass. Amen. You will receive the fulfillment of your promise. You will receive the fulfillment of what you ask for. You will receive the fulfillment, the fruits of walking in righteousness, the fruits of walking in repentance, the fruits of following Jesus, the fruits of being patient, the fruit of working, the fruit of prayers, the fruits of repentance, the fruit of fasting, the fruits of rejection, the fruit of being rejected, the fruit of being persecuted, the fruits of tribulation, the fruits of trials. You will begin to see them Amen. in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You will drink, you will eat. You will dress, you will travel, you will sing, you will worship, you will do everything through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. It is able, that says the Lord, it is able that all things are possible to mm, they Jesus that name. believe in Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Just believe it, those words in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the Bible, the word of God, we see that Jesus, he was not praying even many prayers. Even the apostles, they were not just praying many prayers. They were just praying, just mentioning just a few words. Then it is done because it is not answered by many prayers. Uh -uh. It is answered by faith. Amen. Great faith. Just have faith that whatever I say shall come to happen. Amen. Look at that, uh, that policeman, that soldier who came to Jesus Christ and he said to Jesus, Jesus, my servant is sick. Yes. I just need you to speak a word. A word only. And Jesus was, was like he's saying, I want to go there. But that uh, soldier said that, oh, I am, a, I am an unrighteous man. You cannot come even in my house. But Jesus Christ, but he, he told Jesus, Jesus, just say one word and I believe that he will be healed. And Jesus said that by your, by your faith, he is healed. So Jesus Christ said that I have not seen a great man with faith. This man just said that speak a word. Don't even only. come. Speak a word only. And I believe that when I go back, it is done. So Jesus spoke a word. And the man, the Bible said that instant, instantly, where that, um, that, 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 uh, that man who was sick was, when he, he was healed, instantly was healed. And that soldier, when he, went the, in the, uh, when he returned to the house, he found that... The miracle has happened. Just the word of God. Just only believing upon the word of God. Amen. It can transform you. Amen. And it is done in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Just believe it. Amen. Believe it. And it is done over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. And as you believe, as you have faith in Christ, know that faith without fruit is dead. It's dead. So your faith must produce first the fruits of righteousness, the fruits of holiness, the fruits of, of practicing the scripture. Therefore, it shall be done upon you. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Get the end time writings of Apostle Simon Geshinga, a humble end time messenger with an apostolic wisdom of the word of God and end times revelations. Preparing the bride of Christ for the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ in complete holiness and graciousness. Go to Play Store Android application and search Apostle Simon Gishinga. Click and download the application. All messages are offline once you download them. Receive back the ancient word of God reviving the saints for the kingdom of God by inspired living word of God. Search Apostle Simon Gishinga on Play Store application.